Hey! Oh. I love her! She's like the bestest bear ever! <laughs> Still in the usual getup, huh? Uh -oh. You want a roasted skewer later on? I'll save one for you. <laughs> There's something you want to share, Giggles? You've just gotten so popular. I'm glad that you're so beloved. <laughs> What's beloved is my costume. It stands out way more than I do. Three of our signature puddings! Here's your piping hot pizza! Yay, Yay pancakes! Huh? <laughs> now that's good! These new honey soaked pancakes are one of the yummiest things I've ever had, and the bear shape is absolutely darling! Mm hmm. Spoonfuls of sinfully sweet honey drizzled over thick, fluffy pancakes is a treat that can't be beat! But, uh, I could do without the bear shape. Why? The bear shape is what makes them so cute! Right, sis? I do, uh, more importantly, why are you here, Shuri? Mommy brought me here for some lunch time! And Mom's also here? And it looks like she has Miss Mullane in tow, too. It's a straight-up party. I would call it a luncheon before a party, but something besides food is on her mind. What she means by that is there's trouble. Yeah? What kind of trouble are we talking? The business kind. We won't be able to serve all the wonderful items on our menu. Huh? Big girls don't get this messy when they eat. We aren't doing this by choice, but because the price of honey is through the roof. What made it so expensive? An unforeseen problem occurred at the source of our supply, and now trade of it has ceased completely. We can either stop selling dishes with honey, or drastically raise their price since it's such a hassle to get. And you're saying those are really our only options? Which is why this is presenting such a dilemma. Our honey plates are so beloved, especially by all the children. So fluffy! Be ashamed to take them off the menu. Hmm. It would be quite the travesty if kids in town couldn't get their fill of honey anymore. So, huh? what's the problem that occurred at the source of the supply? A group of monsters. They've nested right by the bee tree, making it impossible for workers to get close enough to collect any honey. Dumb move. Who'd want to nest near a beehive? No, I specifically said a bee tree, Miss Yuna. Say what? You sure the hive isn't, like, in the tree? Wait, you really don't know how bees operate? When nectar-collecting types gather, they do so around a single gigantic tree, creating a nest that's home to hundreds of thousands of bees. Holy swarms of insects! That concept kind of wigs me out. Monsters aside, isn't it hard to get honey from that many things that can sting you? They're actually a quite docile species. Huh? So what monsters are- It's causing the holdup. The Adventurer's Guild has the request posted, but there's no telling when someone will take it on, as you well know. Orcs, huh? Okay, wait, are you- I'm gonna find out more at the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> Somehow I knew our talk would end up this way. Mm. That really why you dropped by here? I don't understand what you mean. <sighs> Bye, Fina. I'm Addy. Be back soon. Bye. Please be careful. Hunting the monsters near the bee tree? It's certainly a request, but nobody's shown any interest in it yet. All these adventurers just come to hang out then? Actually, it's a whole horde of orcs. At first we thought it was a small group, but since the number increased, no one's up for it. Hmm, an entire horde of orcs. Sounds fun! <gasps> it's adventure time! Huh! Sally forth and take me to this trio bee! <laughs> Don't be reckless out there! Mm-hmm! <gasps> yep, just keep heading for the center of this forest. That's where Miss Helen said the bee tree is, and she made it sound like there's no way we could possibly miss it. Hmm? <sighs> Definitely hard. <laughs> it's moments like these that really make me feel like I'm in another world. Sadly. Uh... No matter what world I'm in, there's always something trying its best to ruin the scenery. And they're hogging all the honey, too. Unforgivable. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh. Huh? Whoa, those big rocks are moving! Wait, I think they might be bears! Hang on, are my eyes playing tricks on me? This world has real bears! Then again, Kumakyu and Kumayudu are real, too. But those are really real! And they look really beat up. <laughs> Is this some kind of turf war? Well, it's pretty one-sided. <laughs> huh? Come on. You know I would lend the bears a paw if I could. It's just, we also want the bee tree, which kind of makes them another enemy to us. Yeah, I guess so. It didn't say anything about fighting bears in the request. Huh? Huh? Are those bear cubs? <laughs> Ugh! <gasps> 
in this world might attack humans just like they do in mine, so saving them could very well be counterintuitive. But I don't care. Hurting kids of any kind is wrong, and I'll make you pay for it! All you jerks are history! Orc prob solved? I'd consider the quest complete if it weren't for this family of bears. I won the territory dispute for them, so they're free to move in as the new honey hoarders now. I take it you two want me to patch up their wounds regardless of that? Mm -hmm. Well, luckily for them, your bears I can't say no to. Heal. <laughs> your wounds are healed, but you'll still need to take it easy for a minute. Huh? Is this your way of saying thank you? then you all are very welcome. You know, I'm actually something of a bear myself, but I'm also a girl on a mission. So what do you say, guys? Do you think you can stay away from the humans that come to gather honey from this tree? Even though you have no idea what I just said? Uh, I'm not a human that came to take honey. I meant other... Uh, you know what? Never mind. So, in the end, the bears insisted I leave with a pot of honey as thanks for thrashing the orcs. Then bears have invaded as well? Yeah, and that's prey I would rather not hunt. Which is an understandable sentiment. Asking you to destroy bears is like asking you to destroy the very core of who you are. Uh, it's really not that deep, Helen. You went after the bears? You overheard? Unfortunately, yes. Those poor bears just had cubs and you hunted them. Who's Mr. Melodrama over here? Oh, Mr. Rim is the current keeper of the bee tree and the one who posted the orc slaying quest. I came to see if anyone had taken up the job so we could get back to work. But I'm heartbroken about the bears. Um... Dude, I believe there's been a misunderstanding. Sorry. I panicked when I heard you say bears. You knew they took up residence in that area? I did. They protect the workers, and valiantly oppose every monster. In exchange for their protection, we turn a blind eye when they take honey from the tree. So yeah, we have a symbiotic relationship of sorts. We safely tend flowers and they get fed. You have to mention uh, things like that in job requests, because your fear of the bears being slayed along with the orcs could have easily come true. In hindsight, I wish I had. Ironic, since I kept that info to myself in hopes they wouldn't be hunted. If our lord knew, I thought he'd give the order to kill them. And why would he do anything about your tree? Assuming by lord, you really mean Cliff. <sighs> You're the only one, but it's his responsibility to preside over bee trees since they're so rare. Yes, I was merely hired as a keeper. Lord Cliff has the final say on everything. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Then you're in luck, because it just so happens Cliff owes me a ton of favors, so name drop me when you explain the situation and you'll be good to go. <gasps> You're saying our lord owes you favors like it's no big deal? I don't even have words to describe this. Then brush it off. What matters is guaranteeing the bears get to live peacefully at the bee tree. Yeah, it is what matters. Very good point. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Bear. Ah, it's such a relief. The price of honey is down where it should be. For the umpteenth time, Miss Yuna saves the day. We get to keep the honey items and happy customers. I didn't do much. And it's not like I was trying to be some superhero or anything. The thought of missing out on a single dish Miss Maureen puts on the menu was enough to motivate me. And I'll keep cooking whatever you want. Please, enjoy your dinner, girls. You really are amazing. You know that, right? I swear I'm not as amazing as you all seem to think. But it's nice to know that's how I look through your eyes, I guess. <laughs> huh? Sorry to intrude after hours. It was my hope that Yuna was here, <gasps> for I there have a... There you are, Miss Yuna! Uh, hey, oh. Noah. <laughs> You're so full of me! It's nice to see you as well. It's been too long. You're welcome to visit every once in a while, you know? Actually, I didn't know that. <gasps> Could this be the new Bear Haven Delight? Honey Soap Bear Pants of Well, if you haven't had dinner yet, I can see if Miss Marine will whip some up for you real quick and... That would be wonderful! <laughs> I get to have a cake dinner with Miss Yuna! No, huh? You are the same daughter who promised not to bother Yuna if I allowed you to come along with me this evening, uh, right? That's correct, Father. Huh? Vina, let's find somewhere else to enjoy each other's company while we talk. But why? There's something regarding the Miss Bear fan club I'd like to talk about. Uh, there is? Let's go talk. <laughs> I apologize for the noise. No, this energy is a good thing. But now that she's gone, let's get down to business, shall we, Cliff? To my dearest Noah and Fina.
I pray both of you are doing well and want you to know how much I enjoyed the time we spent together in the royal capital. I would love for our next meeting to be at my own home. It's a day I eagerly await. Please extend my invitation to Lady Yuna as well. Lady Misa sure is eloquent, huh? Well, yes, but the point is she's looking forward to another fan club meetup. So be sure to make a full report about the bee tree incident, since you're the VP and all. I would, but I wasn't there in person, so it's just a second-hand account. Though, I do know it all started with the honey soap bear pancakes. Here. Ella Laura sent a letter from the royal capital that was addressed to you. Seems Princess Flora desperately... <laughs> I wish it were that simple, but it also appears my wife has something she wants to discuss with you. Out of all people, she wants to talk to me? What for? Miss Alalora is a mystery that's a whole lot harder to piece together than Cliff here, that's for sure. At least I can tell she's not a bad person. I realize it's sudden, but could you visit the royal capital? Well, the next picture book is ready for the princess. Alrighty, I can treat them to honey pancakes, so it works out. <laughs> you have my thanks. You have my thanks, too, so that makes us even. Mr. Rem said you let the bears live near the bee tree. Pretty darn nice of you. I'm shocked I was in the mood to humor your request after the stress I endured getting your tunnel built. Was it stressful? Sorry. Relax, I'm kidding. But speaking of, the tunnel will be officially open to the public soon and will be busier than ever before. Are you for real? My mouth is watering just thinking about the new restaurant Miss Ons will open when she gets to Cremonia! Oh, it's gonna be so great! Yep, in the bird just to see you. How sweet. You have so much love in your little heart for her, don't you, your highness? I presume that she was a bear in name alone. See, dear? I told you that's how she dressed. If the king's calling her dear, that makes her the queen, but why are they here? Mother came to meet my friend! <laughs> Hello, Miss Yuna. Call me Kitia. My daughter and husband... Oh, I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm Ella Laura. Yep, I'm aware. <laughs> uh... Flora said that everything from the way Miss Bear talks to the way she acts is cute. <laughs> I see she spoke the truth. Look how cute! <laughs> Here you go, your highness. <laughs> They're bear-shaped! These are honey-soaked bear pancakes, the latest and greatest menu item over at Bear Haven. They're delicious, so eat up! Wow, thank you! Tasty! Yes, they're very good, but is there no pudding with this meal? Don't be rude, your majesty. Though I also can't forget the magnificent flavor and texture of the pudding from the banquet. I could serve it to you daily if only my chef were to somehow acquire the elusive recipe. That would be delightful. Uh-huh. Yep, I love pudding, too. <sighs> I got the hint loud and clear. If I write out the recipe for your chef, you have to promise you won't share it with another living soul, okay? You have my word. I'll guard it carefully. You also have to promise you'll only eat one a day since they're unhealthy. Uh -huh. <laughs> And your highness, I have another present that I brought especially for you. Hope you like it. A bear picture book! Look at this, Mother! It's a brand new picture book! Oh my! And this is the highly anticipated sequel to Flora's favorite tale? I knew she wanted more, but you make me sound like an award-winning- Make copies of this. Why? What if your precious gift was accidentally destroyed? The princess would be devastated. Although she wouldn't have to worry about such things if there was a backup. Oh yeah, I guess that's true enough. And then of course, the best perk about having copies is that we could pass them out to other people. Sure. You want to pass them around? A lot of officials and servants want to read your picture books to their children, so to be blunt, I absolutely want to pass them around, Yuna. What? Our Royal Highness reads your book practically everywhere she goes. It's adorable, really. And now, your book has a following. You have got to be pulling my leg. It's really embarrassing if all of that is true. I assure you it is. Please, let her create more. Yes, I'm in favor of this idea, too. So all three of you want to do this? <laughs> it's like the pages have her hypnotized. Hard to argue with royals. My only condition is that you keep these books within the castle walls. Once again, you have my word. I entrust the making of these copies to you, Ella Laura. But of course. And as soon as they're published, I'll be sure to send you a bunch of them as a way to thank you. That sounds incredible. <laughs> We owe you for the pudding recipe, too. Well, a promise is a promise. Def wasn't prepared for the onslaught of gratitude from the head chef, though. It's their job to create food the royal family enjoys, so it's only natural for the head chef to be elated about receiving a recipe that was so well received by all of them. Pudding recipe I didn't even invent. Right. There's a personal matter I'd like to discuss now that we have a moment. Cliff did mention something about that. <laughs> Why is her smile making me uneasy? Are my bear instincts kicking in? 
I formally request that the adventurer Yuna guard the students of the Royal Capital Academy. Guard them from what? From anything that might obstruct the top students' training. They'll be having a hands-on session in the very near future. Traveling outside the capital to a village and back. They'll learn the hardships and hazards of transportation, the discomforts that come with camping, and how to put their faith in others. Okay, look. I get that students need chaperones on trips, but shouldn't it be their school's job to hire people for that? So why randomly recruit me? I handle a few odds and ends for the academy. Like you handle a few odds and ends for the castle? See, all of the academy's students are of noble blood. And since higher class children have a reputation for being naive and rude, most adventurers won't even consider guarding them. You, on the other hand, can relate to them since you're close to their age, plus you're plenty strong, so it's just Go ideal. Go ahead and chalk me up with the other adventurers. I don't like being around kids my age, and that's twice as true for a bunch of bratty noble teenagers. It'd be way too tough for a shut-in like me who stopped going to school. Oh, it'll be fine. And if you use your power to discipline them, I'll use my power to cover it all up. Did you just admit that you would abuse your power? Um, thing is, I have the restaurant where I eat delicious food, and I also need to do my regular check-ins at the orphanage to play with the kiddos. It's basically one inspection after another. Don't you have people in charge of Bear Haven and selling eggs through the orphanage so you can tackle adventurer work? Uh, well, if memory serves, those helpers' names are Miss Maureen, Miss Tirmina, and Miss Karine, right? Is there no privacy? How in the world did she know? I'll assign you to my daughter's group, so you'll at least have one friend. Hold up. She is going on this field trip? She is. When I told her you might be a guardian, you should have seen her smile. I can show her how much stronger I am. I hope she accepts the job. <laughs> Then she threw herself into her training harder than before. Well, it'd be nice to hang out with Shia again, and I guess it would be a little bit easier if she's there to help me cope, too. Don't forget you'll also be paid for your service. I can even sweeten the deal by owing you a favor down the road. And mine are more valuable than Cliff's. Mm. Okay, you win. But this thing is one and done, alright? I appreciate your cooperation. Uh, I'm so sleepy. Yuna! Yay! So glad you made it! Vina? Hey, you could have gone home after you finished today's harvest, you know. Of course, but if I had done that, I would have had to wait a whole day to talk to you again, you know? You're lucky that I used the transfer gate instead of staying overnight at the Royal Capital. I just realized I forgot home. I'm glad that you're safe. Good to be home. Thank you. Rise and shine! You don't want to be late for your first birthday at the Royal Capital, so you have to wake up and get ready. <sighs> what I really don't want is to escort any students. They're all going to be kids of nobles, powerful families, and just straight-up rich people, which means they're all going to be good for nothings, which means I definitely won't get along with them. Do you realize how selfish you sound right now, Yuna? There's no point in whining since you accepted the job. Uh, lighten up a little, Mom. <sighs> <sighs> Good morning! Time to seize the day! <sighs> Good morning, Fina. <laughs> Miss Yuna! It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. What's up? My excitement for the approaching training exercise is sky high! I'm so happy you're guarding us! Well, you have your mother to thank for that happiness. Let's review the details, shall we? You'll be acting as escort, guarding the children throughout their hands-on training. I ask you to be aware of just how much you do, though. self -in. Observing the students is another part of your job. Then you'll report what you see. Let's say, for instance, they look down on others, or disrespect their young but talented escort. You'd inform us of that. Sound good? Hmm. Speaking of staying informed and all, when you told the Academy about me, did you give them a full disclosure? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, that is, uh... I assure you that she did, so you can walk in with both your tail and head held high. No worries. What'd she say? For starters, she said you're top-notch. Mentioned that you've single-handedly hunted tiger wolves, orcs, as well as other large monsters, and how the guild thinks you have a remarkably bright future in store. To know about my future, but at least the rest is accurate. Mm. Yes, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, and like the cool adventurer they're expecting to see. Okay, we both know that cool isn't right. You're describing me! Did you tell them I dress like a bear? I told them a lot and everything was true. Yeah, there's no way you told them about the bear thing. 
We're looking at a 110% chance of vicious teenage mockery, so you're setting them up to fail! Well, you never know, but I would like to observe the students' initial reactions to you. See if they underestimate you or challenge you to a fight, just like somebody else did upon meeting you. <laughs> and since we're on the subject, I have a request I want you to fulfill during this whole field exam as well, Shia. Pretend that you don't know who Yuna is. But why? Because you're a leader. Relationships. Without making others mad. As the daughter of a lord, you must honor this truth. You have obligations <gasps> when you're born into privilege. Right. Guess even nobles have their fair share of problems. So, what's our destination? A town that's two days away by carriage. The students are responsible for delivering some flour there. It should be four or five days round trip. Four or five days? Can Kumayuru and Kumikyu tag along too, or no? Mm -hmm. I can't condone that, since it'd be an issue if the students assumed the bears would protect them. What if they were just baby bears, though? Baby? <laughs> well, hello! Cute! Are these cubs Kumayuru and Kumikyu's children? Mm-mm. It's the people that, uh, it's the bears themselves. My summons are special and have the power to shrink in size. Nifty, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll definitely be able to get through my field exam if these sweetie pies are in tow. Are you sold, too? Well, <laughs> if they're itty-bitty, sure. What? Cuteness conquers all. Four or five days without them would be super lonely. <laughs> yeah. This is the academy? It's huge. It has to be, since it accommodates every kind of child, from commoner to aristocrat. That's pretty neato. Wait, are you saying there's a chance I'll have some everyday school's daughter and the sons of the knight's captain and prime minister? May I please go? <laughs> no. <clears throat> so this is the bear <laughs> barely known adventurer you chose. Or am I mistaken here? No, you're quite right, mm. and I personally guarantee her capabilities. Mm. I approve of her, <laughs> since Lady Elalora approves. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's introduce you to the students who'll be guarding, yes? Come in. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We have Merix, the ever-energetic son of the Captain of the Knights, the intelligent-looking son of the Prime Minister Timmel, and the daughter of an upper-class noble family, Catlia. Based on what Miss Elalora said. Mr. Shu, why is a bear here? Because this bear... <clears throat> because Miss Yuna was the adventurer selected to escort the four of you. Huh? Are you pulling my leg or something here? How is this an adventurer? Back me up! Uh, that is a very valid point. Please don't treat our education like a joke. Yeah. I get it. I assure you nobody here is joking. She's a first-rate adventurer who was requested by yours truly to come. Oh, wow. Well, if it's all right with you, what? My word isn't satisfactory enough for you, then? Oh, no. It's just what you claim is rather hard to believe. I'm sorry. Well, it can't be helped. Would you please oblige them, Miss Yuna? Hmm. Here you guys go. Your, Your job's, job's a bear, bear, bear. 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 You know, maybe she's one of those. That yes, seems perhaps. right. Huh? One of what? Lady Elalora, I'd like to make one thing clear. Are we responsible for what happens to her? No. If that's honestly the case, then I guess I have no complaints about this. I agree. We all can handle this level of training, even without an adventurer's expertise. Do you two feel the same way? Uh, sure. I'll just consider it as additional testing, I suppose. Yes, I'm perfectly fine with everything. It'll be great. I want to go home. I do have one last question I'd like answered before we leave. Why are there little bears here? Because they're my buddies. <laughs> She's letting her pets tag along? Where'd this spoiled little lady come from? <laughs> little what now? <laughs> Sorry for all the eye rolls you've endured. Isn't like it's your fault, so don't sweat it. But what exactly did they mean when they referred to me as one of those? Oh, you caught that, huh? They might think you're a deceptive brat who comes from higher merits. That stuff can be purchased? With the right kind of party, you certainly can, yes. Some people hire adventurers with high ranks to join them on quests, then put down results they didn't really earn themselves on their guild cards. It sounds stupid, but these people exist, and they're all aristocrats. I see. Hm. They fancy me a pampered princess who likes to cut corners and buy her way up. Hmm, we're the last group to make it to the stables. Let's prep the carriage, Timmel. Right. Is being last bad? It is when you're trying to be quicker than some boys in the other groups. Ah. 
And speaking of the other groups, I wonder what kind of adventurers are escorting them. Hey, you all need to cut the chatter and get to loading the carriage up. As for you, uh, Fluffy, huh? do what you want to, just don't get in our way. <laughs> After all, it'd be terrible if our scores were dropped because of something idiotic. <sighs> Be worse if they drop because of rudeness. Miss Yuna's kind enough to escort us, which means she's more than deserving of our respect. That's very true. Hesitancies aside, Lady Elalora handpicked this girl for our team. There's no need to be polite to someone who's only playing adventurer. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have a long journey to prepare for. Let's go! Uh, uh huh. love to pet one of your bandits. I always thought bears were so scary, but these two are definitely changing my mind. Can you you? you? Can cuddle you? Let's go ahead and plan on switching drivers by the afternoon. Well, unless you object. No objections here. Nope, not here. <laughs> I'm exhausted, and we haven't even left the royal capital. I need an energizing bear hug. I think this trip will be fun. Hugging you is healing me. Where's my healing hug? Reached the end of the first day and everybody in the party is still alive, though I was crossing my claws for a cabin or something. Since I'm not allowed to use the bear house. Okay, let's get started. Hmm? I can take care of the horse. And I'll go find us a source of water. The two of us will get everything ready to cook tonight's dinner. Right after I gather up some firewood to last us a while. Mm. Don't forget to have someone with you when you go to the bathroom out in these... That. What is your deal? Was it gross and tactless when Mr. Shug hey, explained relax. it? relax. But... We all have our jobs assigned, so let's hop to them. Uh, wait, wait! Mm. We'll take turns keeping watch. I'll go first, then Timmel, Catlia, then Shia. Try and sleep while you have the chance. You won't get out of taking your turn just because you can't keep your eyes open. That's Understood. Good to me. He didn't say my name, so I guess I get to snooze away. Yeah, it's cool, guys. Just keep on treating the bear girl like she doesn't exist. I'll sleep outside the carriage. Thank you, Timmel. I'm quite grateful for you. Having a boy resting right beside us would make sleep a difficult chore. Shall we then? Yeah. Nighty night, girls. We Nighty earned night. this respite. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Cuddle up. I wish I were you. you. Maybe in your dreams. Good luck. Mm. I'll cuddle you more in the morning, Kumayuru. I'll do the same, Kumakyu. But I hope that you sleep well in the meantime. How tired were they to conk out instantly? Tell me if any monsters or bandits are about to attack us. <gasps> Thanks. You're awesome. Miss mm. Sheeta, it's your turn to be on the lookout. Mm. Okay, I'm awake. Shia goes last, which means in a few hours the sun will rise. Something wrong? It didn't feel right being left out of the group's watch rotation, so I figured I'd join you for yours. <laughs> and I come bearing a gift. <laughs> oh, my you. You're so warm. It gets really chilly right before dawn breaks, huh? It's not so bad. Being sleep deprived's worse. <sighs> I'm only mentally drained. Spending time with boys around my age is a lot more tiring than I thought. <laughs> what about the mighty Shia? Are you doing okay? Well, I feel a bit uneasy being outside the capital. For what it's worth, I think you've rocked it so far. It's an honor to receive even the smallest amount of praise from you. Here comes the sun. Then, it's time for everyone to get going if we want to reach our destination by nightfall. Wake up if you want a passing grade for this practical exam! Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Looks like five monsters are set to intercept us. Goblins. They're not very strong, but... Kumayudu and Kumakyu sent some monsters waiting to ambush us. They're special like that. Should I tell the others, or would that be intervening? Well, I suppose in a way... 
but telling everybody would make them have more faith in your abilities as our escort. You think so? Yeah, it would benefit us on the road if the whole group knows about your bear's special skill. So if a real emergency crops up, they'll actually believe you. Way to be decisive. As if she'd be anything less. Time to wake up, Catlia. <laughs> Timmel, stop the carriage! There are monsters afoot! Are you kidding me? Wait, Over where? Here? I don't see anything. Neither do I, but Miss Yuna's bears are sensing five closing in. <sighs> The bear's bears told you? All creatures communicate, and mine just said something in that direction is heading straight for us. Mm. Hey. You know, Marix, bears mm. would have a knack for sniffing out this sort of stuff. That's way more impressive than the average bear. They're certainly above average, and their detection skill makes it that much easier to protect you guys from danger. Sounds like they should have hired your pets to carry out this job instead of a lousy hobby adventurer. Mm. Marix! Prepare to fight, but also prepare for me to say I told you so. Here? The goblin still kind of had the element of surprise, but it didn't matter. Despite the chaotic moves that made their inexperience all the more evident, the kids did all right. Turning the goblin's ambush. Oh, everyone's magic was amazing. How's that for a field exam? Although, I didn't trust you about the monsters till they came into view. Guess I get to be the one who says I told you so, since the bear's monster sensing powers really work. Could just be a coincidence. They even uh, knew it'd be five goblins. I'd like to see you do what they did and coincidentally warn us about approaching monster attacks in the future. All right, fine. It's true, okay? Get off my back. <clears throat> Thanks for the heads up. Or whatever. Huh? That's a message for your bears, not you and your useless self. So keep your ego in check. Is he a Sundere? On a side note, the way the goblins fought seemed kind of desperate to me for some reason. Did I imagine it? We're here. Let's all greet the villagers uh, together. Is that a bear? I know. Man, do I know. I pray your journey here was a safe one, travelers. I, the village chief... Royal Academy, Mr. Cabos. And we brought a whole carriage full of goods for your village here. Wow. The conceited jerk can be polite when he needs to be. Who knew? The villagers and I can handle unloading your hall, so why not head over to my house where you all can retire for the evening? Your escort is welcome to stay as well, of course. Appreciate the invite. Oh, wait. Who is this adorable bear lady? Is she supposed to be your escort? Uh, yes. More or less. <laughs> <sighs> My, what a lovely bath that was. Speaking of lovely, mm? your bear-themed pajamas are just precious. But you're cute even without the bears. You should try wearing other clothes. <laughs> I suppose Shia would know you the best since the two of you are such close acquaintances and all. Uh? Uh. Um, wait, wait, what, what are, are you, you talking, talking about? about? No need to play dumb. See, I figured it out when you mentioned Kumayuta's name before Miss Yuna ever said it. <laughs> and then Miss Yuna woke up early to keep watch with you for some strange reason. That's GG. What can I say? <laughs> the girl is good. It was my personal mission to keep that secret. Please don't tell Merrick or Timmel about our friendship. Of course. I apologize if I came off as nosy. Mm -mm. I obviously wasn't careful enough, but I'm more aware of how easy we are to read now, which will help me think of a plan to hide it from the boys. I'll help you. Sorry for calling so late. Don't be. I was still wide awake, I promise. And besides, I was really looking forward to talking to you. So I'm glad you called. Are you happy you got out of bed to work? Nope, not even close. I never should have accepted this job. Well, you sound pretty happy to me. Huh? Much different from the depressed state you left Harmonia in, which means it must be a little fun. Maybe a bit. Or maybe more. At first, I was just as judgmental about the noble kids as I thought they'd be about me. But they all worked harder than I ever expected. That's not to say I haven't wanted to come home, because I absolutely have. But she has been here to help me power through, which is nice. 
It's a relief that Lady Shia is with you, then. Well, anyway, I would stay up all night talking to you if I could, but I know that you have to get up for work bright and early tomorrow morning. So I'll go ahead and wish you a good night here, Yuna. Work hard, but not too hard. Right. Good night, Fima. silk. The village is no worthy commodity. Our training concludes once we trade their silk for our flower and make it all the way back to the capital. Piece of cake. Mm. Isn't this fabric simply beautiful? It would look so good on you, Miss Yuna. <laughs> if you're looking for a fabric Miss Yuna would drop jaws in, it's this one. <laughs> That's not really my thing, but they're both great. The girls have gotten rather close, haven't they? Well, goody for them, I guess. Remember when monsters attacked the royal capital a little while back? Um, random, but yes. Speaking of, though, guess what? That was all- That's what I heard, too, which is why I've been amazed by adventurers ever since. So, I was looking forward to hearing about our escort's own heroic deeds. But we ended up with a joke of an adventurer like her. Pisses me off so bad. Oh, Merrick. Pops! <laughs> Darren, I'm kind of in the middle of giving our guests a tour. Sorry, but monsters have appeared. Uh, monsters? Uh, what What kind? And where did they show up? Right, so... You can give us the details as well. Maybe we'll be able to help you all somehow. It's goblins. They're over by our silkworm nest. While I was able to escape them unscathed, there are still other villagers trapped in the shed. Near the nest? That's right. It's close to the base of that mountain. Oh, they'll destroy our economy right along with the nest. Our main priority is saving the villagers, though. Yes, I agree. The catch is there are more than ten goblins. That we many? can't handle that. No, it will take too long to ask the adventurers to get us through this. We'll go and save the villagers. Uh, we'll, we'll go, go what? what? Innocent people are being attacked by that goblin horde as we speak. We have to at least try. We're students of the kingdom. No, knights! None of us are knights, and I'm sure the girls are hesitant too, aren't you ladies? I don't mind lending the villagers a hand. We bested some goblins just yesterday. If we could save even one life, I can't turn a blind eye. I have some conditions. Huh? It's too dangerous we retreat. As for my second condition, we have to borrow the power of Miss Yuna's bears. It'll be far less perilous if we know where the monsters are. Uh, I, um... I'm on board with Miss Chia's terms. It's certainly smart. If we use the bears' detection skill, we're guaranteed not to get ambushed, right? All right, fine. I admit, the bears are useful, unlike some people. Best pets ever. Sir, show us the way to the shed. Right. <coughs> Two monsters are about to pop out on the right. <coughs> you Royal Academy kids are in a league of your own. Thank you. But that was like swatting insects down. Let's keep moving. Almost there. The set's directly ahead. Oh, we're close? Then let's catch our breath here while we can. Why?! You want to take a break when there are people in need just to sprint away? One of my terms was we wouldn't act recklessly. None of us are ready to fight. We're all too tired. That's a very smart call to make. Let's rest here. Have it your way, then. <sighs> You're both such good little bales. Hmm? What's up? Aren't you winded? We were all... I'm trained for this kind of thing. Uh... No way! Catlia! Uh... <laughs> Timmel needs backup! Thanks, but I'm doing pretty okay! Go, Timmel! In that case, let's all go on the offensive now! Let's! I'll show no mercy! Ah! Ah! Fire ball! Ah! Feeling the heat? Ah. No, look out! Ah! Look alive! 
five. There are five more ready to pounce. Kuma <laughs> Kuma! She warned us before the bears warned her. June, Gelb, everyone! We're saviors for the students from the Royal Academy! Thanks for your help. We're in your debt. Really? Good I, you. I, I, know how we'll repay so, you. I wanted to protect people in need, and I actually pulled it off. Why'd so many attack us? And unprovoked. It's strange. I sort of got the impression they were trying to break into the shed more than they were trying to- And now, um, who made you the boss? Up, up. If you don't want to be a pancake, get away from there! <laughs> Goblins wanted inside the shed so they'd have a place to hide. And if we don't do something, we're gonna be next on the menu. But what can we do? Nothing! We're gonna die because I wanted to be the hero! I want you to make a run for it. I'll stay and act as bait. We came because of me, so I'll take responsibility. I recall it being a group decision, so don't shoulder all the blame by yourself. Just let me do this, Shia. Get the villagers to safety while I buy you guys some time. Timo! We should have twice as much time with two decoys. And as far as who gets it to first, we'll let fate decide. You're trying to play it so cool while your hands can't help but shake. Yours too. <laughs> <laughs> Take off as soon as we deliver the first blow! Leaving you both? We can't! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what the- I can't move a muscle! Ugh. It's no use, boys. We're currently surrounded by more than a hundred wolves, so nobody's escaping. <sighs> we could try, I guess, but they might follow us straight to the village. There are wolves, too? Uh. Well, good thing you brought an adventurer. Don't be a fool! There's no way you'll beat them all! So Kuma Kyu, let... Kuma Yuru, it's your job to protect everyone and keep the wolves in check, okay? <sighs> what now? The bears got bigger! A lot bigger! You help keep them safe, too, Shia. Right. Good luck. Really? You aren't stopping her? Nope. We're in good hands if they're Miss Yuna's. I don't need that girl's death weighing on me. I'm the one at fault. <laughs> Out of the way, bear. Unless you want to see your master ripped to bloody shreds. <laughs> Watch your claws! <laughs> <laughs> How is this happening? Isn't she some spoiled brat who bought her experience? Some phony adventurer who has a weird obsession with bears? No. Uh -oh. Miss Yuna's where she is now thanks to hard work and dedication. She's as real as they come. Monsters as vicious as orcs and tiger wolves all by herself. I do recall her saying that. But the way she dresses would make anyone skeptical. You're the only one who doesn't seem surprised by how powerful she is. If you knew, why didn't you say something? because you're capable of drawing your own conclusions, and I was instructed to allow you to do so. No one forced you to judge her. And if I had spoken up, you wouldn't have believed a word. Miss <laughs> Yuna! Go! No! Fireball, go. <laughs> I'm good. Though, getting my arm nibbled on did throw me for a loop. <sighs> now, I've still got a little more work to do. Uh, that black tiger's not getting up. Yeah, the boss is out like a light, but what about the wolves? Still gotta take care of them. Hey, maybe we can provide backup for you. No, you'll slow me down. <sighs> she knew I didn't care for her. And even though I turned my nose up at that bear, no, Miss Yuna. She fought to protect us. So strong and noble. Same as a knight. I want to be just like her. What do I think I am? A JRPG protagonist? How embarrassing. This escort job's almost over. And thankfully, it's been as smooth as silk. Speaking of, how gigantic would a silkworm have to be to produce thread that size?
Nope, not thinking about it. It's goblins. They're over by our silkworm nest. We'll go and save the villagers. I totally jinxed myself. Yep. No way we'd finish without something exciting going down. Aren't you winded? You were all running at top speed. Did you forget I'm an adventurer? I train for this kind of thing. Yeah, that's totally what I sounded like. Anyway, if it wasn't for my bear suit, a shut-in like me would have passed out after ten strides. This black tiger wolf thing's way more intimidating than the ones in the game. Better step in before these rookies hurt themselves. Huh? I want you to make a run for it! I'll stay and act as bait! <laughs> Did that really just come out of Merix's mouth? Soon, soon redemption. Timmel! You should have twice as much time with two decoys. And as far as who gets attacked first, we'll let fate decide. <laughs> you're trying to play it so cool while your hands can't help but shake. <laughs> Yours too. Huh? I know. Time to up my escort game. But <laughs> I don't have the heart to interrupt such a bromance moment between two bros, especially not in a friggin' fair onesie of all things! Okay, I officially want its pretty pelt as a rug for the house. Bear of fire would singe the fur, and bear cutter would tear it to pieces. So maybe I'll suffocate it with water magic? Ow, 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 ow. It hurts! Huh? Wait, it doesn't hurt. Roll. Fireball, go. I gotta come up with more catchphrases, man. That does it for the wolves. Uh, thanks very much for saving us. Hmm? What's with that look? Getting thanked for a good deed is customary. Yes, we were saved because of you. Thank you, Miss Yuna. You're amazing. Who knows what would have become of our village if it hadn't been for you? Seriously, don't sweat it. I was just doing my job, which is protecting these kids. <laughs> he feels conflicted after being saved by a bear like me. I get it. Since we're all the way out here, huh? it would be great if we could check the study guard. I would defo say yeah if I were by my lonesome, but I go where the students go. I don't mind as long as Miss Yuna doesn't mind. Yes, I feel the same way. And that makes three. Hmm. Silkworm nest, huh? Uh, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something important? <laughs> Dad, I'll ever forget the way your face just dropped too far. Oh no, it's rude to laugh at someone else's expense. <laughs> They're all safe. That's such a relief. Squish, 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 squish. These babies are so adorable. Uh, I had a feeling they'd be big, but I secretly hoped they wouldn't be that big, and of course they had to be monsters. <sighs> this, boys and girls, is why other worlds are scary. Though I just taste for silkworms aside, I still can't believe how incredibly strong you are, Miss Yuna. Never said I was a teddy bear, did I? Huh? You all free right now? I suppose. You may come in. Is there something wrong? Uh, huh? We have something to say to you. Uh -huh. Both of us are sorry, Miss Yuna. Whoa, Miss? Though we were told you were an adventurer, we refused to believe it. We should have consulted you, like we were instructed to do before trying risky things. For, For that, that, we, we apologize. apologize. I didn't have much faith in you either, Miss Yuna. Please forgive my doubt. It's fine. Please don't bow. <laughs> Uh, you saved us despite how we treated you. Huh? You, you have, have our, our deepest, deepest gratitude. gratitude. Um, that was the job. You can stop thanking me anytime. <laughs> Let this be a lesson not to judge based on looks. Gotta bear with people. One lesson I won't soon forget. Yeah. Me too. You know, that's very wise. Huh? See? and the horse are both back where they need to be. And once we make our report to the teacher, we'll be done. Part of me is a little bit sad. Aw, 
Oh, it's Merrick's crew. Uh -huh. You all just now getting back? Very observant. I'm guessing you... I'm sending off the adventurers that served as our bodyguards. This is Mr. Jaden and Miss Mel. Whoa, Miss Bear was your escort? Ah, Yuna, what are the odds? Have we met? Who dis? I'm Jaden, like the kids said. I see you around Cremonia every once in a while whenever I decide to take up any job requests there. I'm Mel. Sorry for acting so familiar. Meh. Anyone who gets roped into this escort gig's a friend. Some of the easiest money I've ever made. Huh? The students were on their best behavior and made sure to play it safe. They followed instructions well, too. <clears throat> Wait a sec. That girl is an adventurer, too? She sure doesn't dress the part. Like that matters. She's a local star. She's famous or infamous because of her choice of clothing. Uh. Miss Yuna was our group's exemplary adventurer. I won't tolerate smack talk about her. That's right. If you have a problem with Miss Yuna and the way she dresses, you have a problem with us. And he does mean all of us. The Foshurose family will send you their regards as well. Uh, one tiny remark and suddenly I'm everyone's enemy? Yeah, he's got a point. Plus, you know it doesn't bother me, right? We, we return, return safely. safely. Oh. Happy to see you. Oh. Right. Go into as much depth about your training as you see fit. Not you, though. Huh? We'll go elsewhere and talk. I really enjoyed the time we spent together. When you get a chance to become a knight who defends the weak the same way that you do. I learned so much over such a short period of time. Uh, thank, thank you, Miss Yuna. Yuna. This is unexpected. Enough bowing. Oh, my. <laughs> They've changed quite a bit in a few days. Well, I had a change of heart, too, because despite the trouble, I found it fun. <laughs> a black tiger. It's a little scary to think what would have happened if you weren't there. You have my thanks. So, will they get a lower score for landing in that situation? Yes, considering the needless danger they brought on themselves, but the fact they didn't abandon people to save their own skins is also food for thought. Choices can be hard to make at times. One day, theirs will mean life or death for others. So yes, this was a good lesson for them. I don't envy the people who have to bring up leaders. Anyway, what are your honest hmm? thoughts on the children? Honest, huh? Hmm. Merrick's has a ton of drive, which is a solid pro, but it's also a con when he can't see the whole picture because he's charging straight ahead. Timmel seems like he puts the Tim in timid, but he toughens up when it counts. And Catlia is one perceptive lady, I can tell you that much. What about my Shia? Let me see. <laughs> you would know her strengths better than anybody. <laughs> um, Yuna, would you hmm? consider doing this job again? I think you have a no. That's a no. Oh. Uh, hi. Why aren't you guys, like, home or something? <laughs> we were obviously waiting for you to pass by. Let's go out and have a nice dinner together. Dinner? Showing you our thanks is better than saying it with words alone. Even as students of nobles, we don't have much dough. But we know an affordable place that's good. You don't have to. But we want to, because there should always be a party at the end of an adventure. Now, let's go! Okay, we got a so, it ended on a tasty note. But man, is it good to be home now. You know, Dad says that a whole lot, too. I'm just so relieved you didn't get hurt during such a hazardous mission. Come on, Fina. You of all people know I'm strong. True, but anyone would worry. Black tigers are very lethal. Guess so. I feel bad thinking this, but I'm glad Fina's around to worry about me. I some pudding for us to share because I wanted to celebrate when you got back into town. So do you want it now or later? <laughs> now, please. No, it still seems off somehow. gonna love it every bit as much as I do. <gasps> it's almost lights out, ladies. Is it really that late? Mm-hmm. If you'd rather keep working, though. <laughs> but I'm heading to bed. <clears throat> Good night and sweet dreams, girls. Yes, 
Guess what, Fina? Miss Ons is on her way to Cremonia! A day you've anticipated for a while. I'm glad the wait's over. Same here, because now I can enjoy great seafood whenever I start craving that delicious goodness! Your wish came true. Good for you, Yuna. But I still have one thing left to do. Hmm? So, long story short, I'm thinking of having the people that are coming from Melila help out with the orphanage, too. But I have been under the impression they were coming here to assist with your restaurant. I would hate to... Hey! <laughs> Get that back! <laughs> it's nice of Gil and Rolina to pitch in, but they're not here every waking moment. Unlike you. The two of you ladies tackle tons of housework along with caring for all those kids, and you do it on the daily. Why grin and bear it when you don't have to, especially when there are people willing to lend you a hand? Don't want any of the kiddos to see you collapse from exhaustion because you pushed yourselves well past your limits, right? Hmm. I suppose that's true. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Um, excuse hmm? me? Hey, Sherry. So are you done? I mean, with your grown-up talk and stuff. Just finished, kid. What you need me for? It's okay, I'd really like to give you this as a special present from me to you. <laughs> How cute! Thank you, I actually made it! You did the embroidery? <laughs> it's an unbearably adorable bear. Really? Sherry, to show my thanks, I promise I'll take great care of it. I know you will. <laughs> So this is the town of Cremonia. It's bigger than I thought. Mm. <laughs> That's precious. Look at the bear shop. I have a feeling this place belongs to Yuna. It looks like a bakery. I could go for some bread. I'm getting kind of hungry myself. We have to meet with Miss Yuna first and foremost. Sherry's found quite the hobby in embroidering, and often sews various things for the other children. That definitely explains why she's so cracked at it. Miss Yuna! Hmm? Oh, she's here! <laughs> Everybody, this is Miss Bo, the director of the orphanage. Hello, and welcome to our town. Hi, I'm Ons. I'm excited to be here. We're, We're all excited, excited to be here. here. And the one who will be our lead director is Yuna, if I'm not mistaken. So would you prefer us to call you Miss? I want to be called whatever you feel most comfortable calling me. I'll call you Teddy then! Except that. How come? It's as cute as you, so... I forbid it with all the authority I have as your boss. W what about Boss Lady Teddy? Okay, if you want to be called Yuna, then that's what I'll call you. I like Miss Yuna, so I'll stick with that. But names aside, we're in your care from now on. Right, and all of you are in good hands. Sherry, to show my thanks, I promise I'll take great care of it. <laughs> so I'm guessing that you might just... Ah! Have you been up there the whole time? Sure have. All of your hard work paid off, huh? <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to lend the orphanage a hand. Really, I assure you, we're happy to help. Which is quite the relief, because our next stop has even more orphans, if you can believe it. Oh, it's the Bear Bakery we saw on our way in! The owner of Bearhaven is actually me. <laughs> we all would have been more shocked if it didn't belong to you. I'm sure you're starved, so let's drop in and have dinner here tonight, Manager's Treat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're here! That's some top-tier hosting. Oh, bears everywhere! They're both just so cute. If you guys have an 86 to everything, we were hoping we could have some dinner. Sure, I'll let Karin know you're hungry and be right back! Wait, oh how? That was delicious! I'm ready to slip into a food coma. Huh? Hmm? I can't believe I forgot! Forgot? An inn! I wanted to guarantee we'd have a place to rest as soon as we got in town, but... Then we don't? I have a place for you. This is where we're staying? Are you 100% sure? I'm 200% sure. It'll double as your home and your new restaurant. It's huge. The restaurant's only on the first floor. Split up the second floor however you want. This is where we're living, starting right now? Yep, yep. Like, it's got beds ready to go. You're the most awesome person I know. Thank you. I think I'm going to head home myself. Try your best to wake up on time, okay? Yeah, okay. of course. 
I doubt we'll ever thank you enough for your hospitality, Miss Yuna, though I can certainly try. I wouldn't invite you here and just leave you to fend for yourself. Now, we're in this together, and I couldn't be happier about it. I feel the exact same way as you! This is Miss Tirmina. On top of being a full-time mom to Fina and Shuri, she manages my businesses. I've heard good things about you. My girls are already big fans of your cooking. I still feel like I have a long culinary journey ahead. I don't know about that, but I do know we have a few things to go over before your restaurant is ready for opening day. Right! That's really everything? Should be, yes. If you it's have any questions. It's not! Oh. Miss Mullane! Oh. There's a crucial detail you even hear. To check in, of course. And I want to let you know the good news as soon as possible. We're expecting news? You're expecting a ship from Wa to arrive in Melila, yes? It's here. My rice is within reach now? Yes! Let's frickin' go! That's wonderful! We can serve our rice dishes opening day! But we couldn't have known about the ship, so what's this crucial detail you mentioned, huh? I simply noted that they aren't wearing any uniforms yet. That is an important detail I absolutely blanked on. Thought so. Luckily, I had some names. I have a hunch the bear outfits won't fly with Miss Hans, and since it's her place, she gets to call the shots. I can't deny they're cute, but we shouldn't wear the same uniforms as little children, right? I have them all tailored to your exact measurements, so not to worry. <laughs> when did you get something so personal? <laughs> scary lady is mega scary. The issue here isn't the size of the outfits, it's about what the people who have to wear them think. Though I'm sorry to say it, cute garments like that really don't suit me. They really, really don't, don't suit me either. either. I'd wear something uh -huh. like that! They're the sublime, aren't they? Yeah, they're the cutest ever! Oh, you have so pissed. We're gonna wear those things? It's hard to say, but um... That is a clear doe-eyed cry for help. Uniforms. Something with a bear yet isn't embarrassing to be seen in. Oh, we'll <gasps> compromise. You could rock bear swag if they're only- Oh, charming. There's nothing awkward about wearing aprons with a little extra razzle-dazzle. That's a brilliant idea. I agree, since it's super cute. That's definitely more my style. I'm slightly disheartened to hear that, but if it's what everyone wants... <laughs> <laughs> Who crafted that thing? A cute kid from the orphanage named Sherry. Fantastic work. Who knew that girl had such an extraordinary talent? We're obviously gonna have to stock Sherry up with the proper materials. I can introduce you to the perfect place. I'll be sure to let them know you're coming. I appreciate it, Milane. I'll scope it out soon. <laughs> I didn't grab enough feed. I'll get more so they don't go hungry. I'll go with you once I'm done if you don't mind waiting a tiny bit. We could take out the garbage on the way, since we're here. Okay. There she is. Mm -hmm. Sherry! What are you doing here? Melaine told me the tailor shop we're visiting made the uniforms for Bearhaven as well. These guys have a bunch of materials to choose from, she said. You really want to trust me with your work aprons? Of course I do. You should have seen the hearts in everyone's eyes when they saw your cushion cover. Yeah? I'm guessing you embroider because it's a hobby you like, right? Hmm. Okay then. This project should be nothing but fun for you. I guess that's true. This is the place. <gasps> Welcome. We've been expecting you. I'm Yuna. This is Sherry. Your shop got a very strong endorsement from Miss Mullane. My name's Naru, and this handsome lug is my husband, Tomoka. It's nice to meet you. We heard about you as well, and your project to embroider your work aprons. That's us. Let me show you the sort of thing we're aiming for. Oh, that bear's darling! This your handiwork, young lady? Yes. You did a great job. You're only saying that. I don't give out false compliments. Why not show us your skill firsthand with anything that catches your eye? Scratch? Yes. Would you like to make clothes too? I would. Aprons are actually the perfect thing for a beginner to learn from. If you want to, I can walk you through it. Is that allowed? Do whatever it is you want to, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to learn. Sherry, how was the tailor shop you went to with Yuna? It was full of all kinds of different clothes, and I got to meet the owners who were super duper nice. Even took time out of their busy day to teach me how to make aprons. They did? 
There are a bunch of steps to remember. But I'm giving you two. Matt said, I'm sure it's gonna be tough, but we're rooting for you. I'll try my best. Sleep, silly. We'll take care of the kokekos today. You just take care of Sherry, Sherry. Oh, I do that. Aren't you tied up making aprons these days? That should be your main focus for now. We would help you with the sewing too if we could. Mm. We can support with more than just words this way. Thank you, girls. Sorry for the trouble. Our pantry is gonna be stocked. I hope I don't jinx us, but everything's going so well, we should be able to open any day! Mm, uh, a big great to see the finished products! We gotta get on her level. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done! You should be proud of how hard you worked. I never could have done it without your lessons, so thank you very much! I'll always remember what you taught me. You know... You could learn even more, if you became an apprentice. Excuse me for barging in. Barge in anytime you want. I, um... I finished the aprons. We'll handle them with love and care just like you And did. when we finally open our doors, we'll treat you to a feast. Don't you mean Miss Ons will treat her to a feast? I can prep the fish, so that's gotta count for something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's your sense of humor, kid? Oh, I don't know. Now that you have your aprons, I should probably get back to the orphanage. What's with her? Sorry to interrupt, but is Sherry here? I believe that you're in luck. She should be resting in her room right now. All of those all-nighters she's been pulling have to be taking a toll on her. I see. Thank you, ladies. You in there, Sherry? Yuna? Would it be okay if I came in? Sure. You peaced out before I got a chance to thank you properly. What's eating at you? I don't know what you mean. I'm happy that you're so happy with my work. Come on now. You know that you can talk to me. Hmm. Mr. Tomoka asked me if I wanted to train under him and his wife as their apprentice. What? That's awesome! Yeah, but I'm turning them down. Huh? You're saying no? I am, because looking after the Kokekos is something that we all decided to do together. It isn't fair to everybody else if I just stop doing my part. Especially not for something as selfish as working at a tailor shop. Did the other kids say that to you? No, they didn't. But still, I watched my best friends pick up my slack. All while I was having joy when Mr. Tomoka asked me to be his apprentice. But I can't say yes. You think so? Because I think you need a few more opinions. <gasps> People are usually grateful when you value what they think, so I don't see them getting upset. <sighs> okay.
think it's fine. Gotta at least take a chance, you know? Your smile was even brighter than the lantern when you were stitching those aprons together. But when we thought you were working too hard, we tried lightening your load. I guess that's what passion does to you. Makes sense for you to work for a tailor. But someone else has to do my chores. Pick up my slack while I go do what I want. It's not fair. I think you're being a drama queen. I've been working at the bakery instead of looking after the Kokekos for a good while now. I have too! If any of us can care of the birds. Me too, it's fun. Regrets are part of life, but you'll have more if you always put the wants of others before your own. Thanks, everyone. I mean it. I... I want to be a tailor's apprentice! <laughs> The long wait is over, because the Bear Diner is open for business! Excuse me! I want this one. Got a fresh seafood bowl, three colored rice balls, as well as one grilled fish. Coming right up! Welcome, everybody! Here's your steaming hot grilled fish meal. Mmm! It's like a pretty every now! Mm. That good? Well, party on! I'll head to the guild or something. See what fate drops in my lap today. Wow, that is one big beast. Seemed bigger when I was fighting it, but maybe Black Tiger Shrink. Think you can harvest its parts nice and neat for me? It's hard to say. What's wrong, huh? Not feeling it? No, I'm fine. Dad said black tigers and wolves are similar enough in structure that they can be harvested the same way, so I think I can do it. I was hesitating for another reason altogether. What reason is that? I'll tell you if this doesn't work. <laughs> Come on. Like I thought, the fur is too tough. My knife's not strong enough. I'm sorry. Figuratively and literally, just won't be able to cut it. Dad could probably handle it, though. Huh. Leave it to me! Hold up. The problem lies with your knife, not your skills, right? So, could you hack it if you had something better than an iron one? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Time for a shopping spree, then. Elton Mr. Goldsmithy comes to mind when I think of decent weaponry. Oh, the dwarves. Then let's go drop by their place. <laughs> Howdy ho! <laughs> Hello, good to see you, Miss Fair. And hello to you too, Fina. Always a pleasure. You're really popular. A few of our adventuring regulars tell me stories about you that range from starting up your own business to hunting black vipers. <laughs> <laughs> so, what brings you in? You shopping for weapons, or do you just need some upkeep? I sort of slayed a monster that can't even be cut into with an iron knife. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to harvest? Knowing you, I bet it's a dragon! It's a black tiger. <laughs> <sighs> Another crazy creature to get everybody talking. But you're right, an iron knife won't work on a hide like that. Mithril or steel would be okay. Did you say Mithril? As in, the super special awesome material that's so fantastical it couldn't possibly be real? Except when it actually is? Mithril equipment is the equipment of dreams! Give it to me now! One Mithril knife, please, and if you have Mithril swords, I'll take those too! If it's Mithril, I want it! Let's talk about it first. Mithril knives are expensive and a steel works just as well, so... No, <laughs> Mithril knives would be an investment for all of your future harvesting, Fina. I'm kind of afraid to ask, but what in the world are you planning to have me harvest for you? I would sell you all of our Mithril if we had any. But as I mentioned before, steel would suit your needs too. Mm -hmm. It's Mithril swag or bust for this bear! <laughs> I want nothing but the best equipment for Fina. Plus, this news has set my gamer spirit ablaze! Now that I know Mithril's a possibility, it must be mine! Well, at the moment, I highly doubt you'll have much luck finding anything made of Mithril in this town. What? How come? Some issue up at the mines caused all excavation of it to stop for the time being. 
We still have access to other ores, steel included, but mithril is rare to begin with. So if there's a shop in Cremonia that has any left, I'd be shocked. Gotcha. You'll also have your work cut out for you finding a blacksmith who can forge the ore. There's just one that I know of in all of Cremonia, and it's my husband, Mr. Gold! Hmm. Any other towns worth checking out? Hmm. I could see a blacksmith in the Royal Capital stock. Then we'll pop by the Royal Capital real quick, like. You'll travel that far? Mm-hmm. The transfer gate will get me there in a flash. In that case, wait here. Wake up, honey! You should be sleeping anyway! It's business hours! No need to kick me. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Fina? Nice to see you. are headed to the royal capital to find a mithril knife, so I think you should recommend them to Gazal. And who's Gazal? Oh, he's a friend of ours who lives in that area. I'll write you up a letter of introduction, so stop by his smithy. He should be able to pull a few strings. You really came all the way to the capital? You know, we don't have to go to such drastic lengths for such a simple knife. We absolutely do. Uh, Onward to the blacksmith. Alrighty. Mr. Gold and Mrs. Nelt gave me directions, but... Finding him might be easier said than done. Uh... The royal capital is just so big. Well, maybe it's... That way? Miss Yuna! Uh, hey, Shia. The gang's all here, huh? Hi, Lady Shia! It's been ages since we last met. But always nice to reunite. What brings you to our city, girls? Just a small errand we gotta run. What happened, Marix? That bruise looks rough. Once Father heard how I acted during training, he got a little upset with me. And so he sucked you in the face for it? That's a kind of harsh, don't you think? No, I deserved it. It looks a lot worse than it feels now, honest. Why, such brave words. Aren't you the same Marix who freaked when I grazed it? I recall your eyes getting very teary. Of course a bruise is gonna be sensitive the day after you get it! Give me a break over here! Bet we caught the four of you on your way home from the academy, right? Classes let out early today, actually. Dr. Sen. After our exam, we became members of the Adventurers Guild. We need all the experience we can get. Next time a black tiger attacks, we won't just stand there in fear and shock. I'm sure. Well, keep up the awesome work. That's why you're in the capital? Just to buy Fina a fancy knife? I tried to explain that a steel knife would get the job done, too. And I heard every word, but I can't deny the heart, and mine wants mithril weapons for Fina. Oh, um, okay then. Uh, her obsession with mithril is something else, and I know precisely where this path will lead. Have at him, Fina! Put those mithril tools to use. Uh, what? Just a matter of time. I love mithril. <laughs> Look, Yuna! Now that I own the best equipment, I reach peak performance with my harvesting skill! <laughs> Every member of my party should always be equipped with premium gear! Because that's winning and gamers gotta win! I knew it! May I present to you ladies, Gazal Smithy. I'm here. If you'd really like to treat us, uh -oh. I have an idea! Fluffy Wuffy! So fluffy Wuffy! Who's the cutest cuddle muffin? I guess that's a treat. Does it really feel that good to cuddle them? Wanna see for yourself? Uh, nope, I'm okay. It makes sense that the bears can give the best bear hugs huh? because they're thirsty so <laughs> soft. <laughs> Now that that's out of the way, the time has come to claim our first Mithril Blade of Legend! You know, so enthusiastic about this. Anyone home? We seek the mythical material. Uh... That a customer, I hear? If you're Mr. Gazal, then yes. I am. But who are you supposed to be? And what's with that bizarre look? Kudos for not just calling me a bear. But I'd really prefer if we left my clothes out of this. Look at this instead. It's a full intro letter, handwritten by Mr. Gold. Hmm. You came a long way. For disappointment. Huh? Because the mithril shortage also affected us at the capital. Even the king's stomping ground? Yep. Nothing you can do when the closest mineral vein becomes unreliable. I would honor Gold's request and forge you a knife if I could, but I don't have any mithril either. I heard there was a problem, but what exactly is it anyway? Golems. Apparently there's a whole bunch of them coming out of the caves lately. I would go ask the Adventurer's Guild if you're that curious. They're really giving us the runaround. 
I'm sure that Mr. Gasol has some steel knives. Go ahead, thriller, go home, girl. Things worth having usually don't come super quick and easy. And besides, the harder it is to get my paws on it, the more I wanted in my paws to begin with. Uh, check the entrance. What in the world? Get a load of who just walked in. I think they're cute. Any bear hunters in the house? <laughs> Maybe we should come back later. Hey, now. What's a cutesy little girl and her pet bear doing in a place like this, huh? Go home! <laughs> Be nice, Yuna. I'll say this once. Keep your dirty hands away from her. That's some nerve for a teddy bear. If you got a complaint, what? That hurts! Like. What kind of cheap trick was that? I call it grabbing someone's hand and lightly tugging on it. Who are you kidding? We aren't stupid! Jeez, what's going stomach? on here? Scary. No fighting allowed on guild grounds. No, Master! I can explain! Um... Random elf lady. Unless my memory is deceiving me, you're Yuna. Sounds like this lady knows you somehow. Uh-huh. We met during the King's B-Day celebration thing. It's the first time that we formally spoke in this hall's guild, Master. This is one young lady you don't want to mess with. She'd best you even if you all ganged up on her. Uh, our apologies. Uh, let's go. Uh -huh. See if the one outside is all right as well. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry they were so disrespectful. Anyway, what brings you to the Capital Guild? I came to find out more about the problem at the Mithril Mine Shafts. Oh, that problem. Well, if it isn't uh, Yuna and uh, Athena. Uh, uh, what are you two ladies doing here? Isn't this a pleasant surprise? Emphasis on the surprise, since your presence is just as baffling. I came because I have some business with Sonya. <sighs> In regard to a mine. We dispatched adventurers to the mine as soon as we first caught wind of the golems. But their numbers greatly surpassed what we were expecting to find there. It sounds like we're dealing with quite a few, then. Indeed. It is quite a few. So many that we have no way of figuring out the exact number of golems we're up against now. Also, an especially strong golem suddenly appeared amongst their ranks. Ah, I see. If things don't improve soon, we may need to send some of the castle's soldiers and knights to dismantle these golems. I'm not sure if it's that dire. There are two parties hunting the golems as we speak, both full of capable adventurers to boot. Think two is all that you need? I'd feel less anxious if we had more, but skilled adventurers only do quests that interest them. There aren't very many willing to take the job. Hey, we should go home. A knife's not worth all this trouble. I'm guessing you saw this venture like me to sign up for this quest. Huh? I don't see any reason to say no. It'd be a tremendous help to the guild if we had your aid. Only if you're sure. Yeah. I'll even head to the mine right now. <gasps> Thank you, Yuna. Fina can come with me. I don't see it ending well if she goes with you. And the Foshoda says we'll take great care of her. If you want your precious princess back in your arms again, you have to dispose of all the golems. <laughs> but you can rest assured that we'll take excellent care of her while you're at it. <laughs> and by excellent care, she of course means filling her to the brim with delicious food and sweet snacks fit for a queen. They will shackle this smooth and delicate body of hers with adorable dresses, big bows, and shiny accessories that put the sun to shame. Help! Please save me, my hero! I don't want to eat that much food! Curse you witches! I swear that I'll return as quick as I can. I promise I'll defeat the golem, so please wait for me! Just kidding. Uh, I do believe we've found the mine. Well, uh, let's get this over with. Uh, I always get the same exaggerated reactions when I come to a new town. She's a bear! Whoa, a bear. A bear. Uh... I'm getting serious Melila flashbacks. There's no life in this place. Is it because the mine shut down? You know? Huh? So, we meet again. Again, huh? Oh, Jaden and Mel, right? Uh-huh. Those two your party members? Yep, and fellow adventurers. We finally meet, Miss Bear. I'm the handsome swordsman Toya. My name is Sinia. This dude <laughs> seems like a total player. <laughs> then we got beauty and the coolness over here. Are you here for the reason that I think? If you think it's for work, then yes. The only work I can imagine you doing is hunting the golems like we are. Uh-huh. So you guys took on the golem gig too? Yeah. Received the request straight from the guild. We all just finished up work for the day and we're on our way back. Sonya did mention two skilled groups were already out here sticking it to these golems. I guess Jaden's crew is one of them. How's everything going then? 
Oh, you beat him, so the mine will be up and running by tomorrow, right? No. Huh? Not yet. The caves are teeming with them. And no matter how many we wipe out, their numbers stay the same. They'll eventually stop multiplying, in theory. We just haven't made it to that point. Why are they reproducing like rabbits? If only I knew. Although, there's this unknown golem holding down the fool. And the reason I think that is, because it's the same golem that was sighted when this whole problem started. Huh? How is there a hollow cavity? Whoa, look! There's something inside! After that, the mine became a golem den. A big one. Okay, yeah, that's totally sus. Have you not thought of targeting that one specifically? That kind of strategy wouldn't be easy. The deeper you go into the caves, the stronger the golems become, so it's guarded very well. And the iron golem that's stationed right before the deepest space is one tough cookie, I can tell you that much. If we are able to defeat it, those parts will definitely sell for some major coinage. If its name's any indication, that thing must consist of nothing but iron. Which might pose a problem since my attacks will already be limited inside a cave. I don't see how telling me this benefits your group in any way. We're in a state of emergency. The sooner we finish this job, the better. Lest you forget the guild's pushing us to do this. The mine being shut down is a problem in itself. So if Yuna pitches in, the town's livelihood will be restored that much faster. The town kinda is the equivalent of a funeral home. Everyone looks so depressed. I really appreciate all the info, guys. It helped a ton. So Found a place to stay yet? I haven't, no. Wonderful! <laughs> Senia and I have some room for you. It's a room for two and you know it. Two beds, yes. But I was thinking that Yuna and I could share one. Should be small enough to squeeze in with me if she takes off her bear suit. The suit stays on. How come, though? You would rather sleep alone than with me? Duh. I'm vulnerable without my suit, so I have to always wear it. What's that even mean? If you oh, like this in, I'm pretty sure there are vacant rooms left. Pillow. The innkeeper told us herself. Toya! Why would you tell her that? Um, because I could? Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Slaying iron golems back to back is tough. But think of the payout we got. Okay, so, roses are red and so is everything about this guy. He's just begging for a bowl to gore him. Wait, green and blue? And black and white? <gasps> With their power? combined, they're mighty magic rangers! And suddenly I feel like it's Saturday morning. How goes it, J-Dumb? This wild bear, your new pet, or you just fostering strays for fun? You wanna throw paws? Seriously? What gives? This furball some side cherry case? I think she's cute in a frumpy way. Why the bear sleeping inside instead of out in the woods? All offense intended, I dub this group the Bozo Rangers. She's a supremely gifted adventurer, so show some respect. That tub of fluff has the same occupation as we do? Remember the main thing about jokes is they should be f I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, who cares about the bear? You're about to. You'll learn today. Hey, son! Did your group manage to take out any monsters? Because there are three less iron golems terrorizing the caves thanks to our party. Or six, because we also slayed three. Is that so? Well, try not to get too full of yourselves, since we'll be the ones to kill them all in the end. But now we sleep! Aww. Yeah! <laughs> that piece of work is barbled. As you probably guessed, yeah. the guild asked his party to hunt down the golems, too. <laughs> at least his skills make up for his demeanor. <laughs> I can hardly bear it when they refer to Yuna as a pet. Mm. She's obviously a mascot, not a silly pet. Um, how about I'm neither? <sighs> Today was long. I ran all over Cremonia and the royal capital, then accepted a big quest and met the Bozo Rangers because of it. <sighs> well, at least Fina should be doing okay. She's with Lady Elalora after all. What about this? You like it? I bet Seralina does. You're right. That shade of purple would look lovely on her. Take the current trends into account, Mother. Then you'd agree this one is the best. Right? Go on, tell her you agree. You're right. That one is equally magnificent. <laughs> they look so expensive. If I got them dirty, or lift them, I'd be in debt to So simply stay inside and be perfectly still. I refuse to ruin those dresses. <laughs> Oh, Fina, my dear. If you think you're ready, let's mix, mix those, those old clothes, clothes and try something new. Uh-uh. I am in extreme danger right now. Save me, Yuna. Please. What do you think? Green really brings out her gorgeously bright eyes. Oh, cuteness, too. The fruit of our labor sure is sweet. It is. We absolutely...
absolutely have to take you out in that dress tomorrow. Uh. Huh? Ah! So this is what the king's castle looks like. I wanted to bring you since it's your first time. It's always fun seeing citizens' reactions. Uh, what if I meet the king and offend him somehow? Yuna, Mom, Sherry, Dad, give me strength! Uh, and forgive me if I get the death penalty! These must be the golems those witches meant! <laughs> Swords, not scissors, so you'll need a lot more than stupid rocks if you want to beat this hero! I can't breathe. Is this magic? I'm way too OP for something like this to kill me! Why am I suffocating? Just a dream. Guess sleeping with teddy bears is bad for your health. Nightmare on Furball Street. <laughs> Already morning. Thanks for being my alarm clock, you two. But next time, wake me up without crushing my lungs? Okay, thanks. <sighs> All right. Good day to slay some golems. You're looking lovely this morning, uh, Yuna. Aw, thanks, Mel. Enjoying a nice breakfast before you head over to the mine? Yep, yep. That's the game plan for now. Gotta finish the job as soon as possible and free my sweet princess from her captors. You're the slightest bit interested in teaming up? Like with your entire squad? Yes, but not because I think you're weak. I just don't want you to get picked on. Your looks kind of work against you. Uh, right, and I'm worried certain people will give you a hard time if you're alone. Same here, so you're welcome to join. Being alone makes it easier to maneuver, though. What should I do? Hey, early birds. Nobody's early. You two are just late. But hi. We just recruited Yuna for the day. Mm, good move. I think I can bear it. All in favor, say aye. Aye! I never actually agreed to this arrangement. Haven't seen a single trace of barbold and colorful crew, so I doubt they use this entrance. The less we see of them, the less trouble they'll give us, so this is great. Who's barbold? Bozo Rangers. Well, if it isn't our first kill. <laughs> you can demolish a golem by removing or destroying the mana gem inside it. Thing is, the gem fetches a pretty nice price. The goal is to defeat them while keeping the loot intact. Thanks for the tip. Are those the only two ways to beat them? Guess you can also vanquish golems by exhausting their magic supply. Once you damage them beyond a certain point, they simply stop functioning. Tell me, Fina dear, where in the castle would you like to go? I'm not sure. Where are we allowed to go? No need to be nervous. You're here as an honored guest, you know. And if anyone even tries to bully you, I'll deal with them so fast it'll put you in, including the king. <laughs> His Majesty! <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. Ah, yes. I know somewhere that we can go explore. Rock golems are dead golems. Ah, ah. Hey, Yuna, can you handle one of them? All day long. This rock is about to roll! Deflate it with a single punch? Jeez. Punch! I figured rocks would be tougher. I'm blown away by how strong you are, Yuna. Rumors were true. Yeah. But leaving everything to such a powerhouse would cause a cave-in. We'd crush ourselves before the golems, and I'd rather not test our luck. Touché, player. If I go all out... And using fire magic in an enclosed space would only make us suffocate. Goodbye, cruel world! Fighting in caves is hard. It's gorgeous. Everyone in the castle is very proud of this garden. I knew you'd like this place. Hello, Laura. Huh? I could have sworn you were off duty. Laura! Today is indeed my day off. I'm just spending it showing this young lady around the castle. Oh. You live with Yuna, if memory serves. 
I believe your name's Fina, is it not? Your best is friends with Miss Ben! Uh, yes! I sincerely hope you don't find my presence in your spectacular home at all inconvenient, Your Majesty. I am simply honored to be here. <laughs> no need to be so stiff with formalities. Your manners are quite the contrast to Yuna's, though. My? When you phrase it like that, I can't help but feel a little bad for Yuna. Perhaps if she came and said hello during her visits, I might be inclined to phrase it much differently. I see. The princess is usually her priority when she's here, though. Ha! I must admit, my daughter's cuteness is quite the draw. <laughs> However, that's no excuse to ignore her father. Take Yuna's last visit, for example. I wasn't made aware you were here. Father, look! I'm reading my favorite picture book to Miss Bear! Mm. Mm. To say she looked annoyed would be an understatement. I have a very strong hunch she doesn't see me as the reigning monarch at all. Gracious, Yuna! What stunts are you pulling in front of the king? You say that, but it's also fairly plain you don't dislike her. Right you are. She continuously showers my flora with kindness, as well as protects our land and its people. I'm actually the bestest of friends with Miss Bear as well. Her pudding is really tasty. She has to- It's over! <laughs> Bet they would be easier to take down if there weren't so much iron in their blood. <laughs> Holy crap! They cut through those dudes like butter! That's because iron golems are no match for Senia and Jaden's mithril blades. Did you say mithril? That's right. <sighs> Wish I had a mithril sword. Might as well be poking those tin cans with a toothpick using this. You make it sound like the weapons are the only reason they're both able to pull off successful takedowns of those iron brutes. They also have the skill needed to wield such weaponry, which Toya never will. <clears throat> Man, I want mithril so bad! <clears throat> there a fight happening down that way? Damn, tough as nails. Take this. The magic's uses on it too. What's our plan of attack then? Of course, it was the Barbold Gang. Though what they're fighting is slightly more obscure. That's not the right color for an iron golem. The Bozo Rangers aren't fumbling this battle because they're weak. That golem's body is just too hard. If it's not iron, then what is it? Could it be a mithril golem we're dealing with? Definitely shiny enough. Uh, yes. Their struggle is only going to get worse. A foe like that's too strong. <sighs> J-Dum's here! A mithril golem sounds rough. We'll back you up! Don't dare move from that spot! Everything is fine! This hunk of junk is ours! So, do we help? Barbold made it pretty clear he didn't want any kind of support. And even if all of us work together, I'm not sure we could inflict so much as a dent. Good point. One reason this thing is such a hassle is it's immune to magic. Also true for a lot of physical attacks. It would be a pile of scrap if I got my hands on a mithril sword. <laughs> Want more? Here's more! <laughs> well, we're gonna start making our way back now. But we'll report your epically unnecessary battle to the guild if you die. So fight on knowing that your idiocy will live in infamy. Shut up! Take your stupid little pet and go! I know homeboy isn't talking about me. So this place has mithril golems. Three guesses what the loot drop will look like once I slay one of those glossy guys. What do you think? Should we stay? There's much more at risk. I'm hoping Barbold's own mithril will be enough to take that golem out, because if not... We'll have to call it quits. My thoughts, too. Their equipment may not get them many points for style, but it's as top of the line as their skills and comp. Able to kill. Seriously. I can't believe none of our attacks worked. Oh, hey. You guys survived. Like I'd die there. That was hard, though. I have no doubt. Only choice is to update the guild. It's a nearly impossible task for us, but Capital Knights should be able to crush that thing. Got the numbers and gear to take on an army of mithril turds. At least we tried. No shame in quitting when you gave it your all. A round of drinks for Barbold and his party members. Put it on my tab. Hmm. Just one round, huh? If you think of a way to kill that golem, I'll make sure you don't see the bottom of your mug. Here you go. The capital soldiers won't arrive overnight, so my crew will rake in as much as we can from the iron golems till they do. Sounds like a plan to me. Cheers. <laughs> yes, taking fatal chances is absurd. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to bed. They've all given up on finishing the job, but it's not GG's for this bear. I am gonna destroy that golem. Sure, I don't know how yet, but where there's a mithril, there's a way for all. This area looks 
pretty quiet and perfect for some experimentations. We've brought you the princess, Demon King. Excellent. What are you planning to do with me? <laughs> You're just begging for a time out. Whatever your scheme is, the hero's going to thwart it and rescue me! Oh yeah? Check this action out! There! See your dear hero for yourself! Killing Mithril Golems equals scoring some Mad Mithril Drops! I need it! I want it! I gotta have it! Mind empty, only Mithril! Thanks. That alarm clock was much better. Mm -hmm. I gotta stop stressing about Fina. Ella Laura is a lot of things, and a first-rate hostess is one of them. Okay. Time to slay me a mithril golem and get back to my awaiting princess. Air cutter, go! Next we have the iron golems. <laughs> I love that you guys have my back, but I need to practice soloing these guys, okay? I gotta restrain myself when I fight in tunnels, lest I cause a collapse and be buried alive. So I need to figure out how to end my enemies fast and efficiently. Well, here goes nothing. Electric Bear Punch! Uh, but weak! In every manga I've read and video game I've played, the weakness of metal monsters, shockingly enough, is always the same, no matter what. Visualize the image. An image of mana being changed into electricity. Imagine that electricity flowing through the body and attacking the mana gem directly! I amaze even myself. Yeah. Now that I know how it works, I'll have this job done by today, no problem. Just hang tight for me, Fina. I'll be home soon. Such a lavish spread. I hope you like the food. Eat whatever you want. Th thank you very much. You have to try this freshly squeezed juice before the tea, though. <sighs> It's good. It certainly looks good. Thank you. Are you alright, Fina? I'm so sorry. Did it cut you? I'm the one who's sorry. The dress, the juice, the glass, the dead. Fina, don't you dare touch that broken glass. Those pieces are sharp. So, um, about the dead idol. Your debt? What do you mean? This time, that's where your mind has been? Well, I promise that you're not in our debt. Noah spills her food and dirties her dresses on a regular basis. Guess you're just part of the club now. If I can do it, you can do it too, Fina! Shia was a messy girl in her youth as well. <laughs> Guilty. Clothes are bound to get stained or torn every once in a while, but I'll make them all good as new, so don't worry. Besides, who doesn't enjoy a good wardrobe change? That is another very beautiful dress. Well, I guess my stomach disagrees. Electric Bear Punch! <laughs> All Iron Golems are officially eradicated from this cave. This is clear. <laughs> Electric Bear Punch! My new magic skill's already nerfed. What a buzzkill. Bear Cutter! Its defense is straight up broken. Can't be helped. Secret weapon time. Now I can kick your metal gears without holding back. Even a 
monster made entirely from mithril should take some serious fall damage from a drop of that height. Still moving. I'll attack the gem. Ah! Electric bell! Ah! Huzzah! Mission accomplished. Thanks for waiting. Let's take out the rest of the golems as we leave. You two dig? I didn't mean literally. The heck are those? Huh. Bearmanite. And mail. Dude, it's from the god who sent me to this world. Where the heck have you been? Dear Yuna, are you working hard at adventuring? Regardless, I've prepared a special present for you. I forgot to mention I'll prepare all sorts of gifts every once in a while. So, try to find them. Were the golems spawning infinitely because of this bearmanite stuff? Ergo, this debacle only happened because the god that sent me here wanted to give me a little souvenir. So, in a way, this entire thing was my fault. Uh, so sleepy. Huh. Took a minute to make the mine a golem-free zone again. But the job specifically said to eliminate all of them, and I want to be able to leave this place without looking back. Yuna, where'd you run off to? We saw you weren't in your room, so we've been worried for a while. I decided to go to the mine by myself, but, um, I'm guessing you guys didn't go at all. No, we drank- Till the afternoon. Me too. Well... It happens. If you're sober tomorrow, though, could you do me a favor, please? Like what? I defeated all the golems, including the mithril ones, so can you check the mines in the morning and make sure that they stay gone? <gasps> Yuna! I'm so sorry. What did you just say? I defeated all of the golems, including the mithril ones, so... You're only joking, right? <sighs> I wouldn't be this worn out if it was a joke. I don't know if they'll spawn again tomorrow, though, and I really want to go back home. Hey! Fluffy! Shut your lying mouth! If the five of us were in a match, it's gonna take a royal army! You want me to believe a cutesy pet cleared the entire mine? Don't make me laugh! Pet? Marble? What's wrong? Looks like he's still shwasty face to me. He didn't drink near enough to get this hammered. He passed out. I might have overdone it. Well, if he's gonna call me a pet every time he sees me, I'm gonna fry his crimson butt. Tomorrow I'll reunite with my princess. <laughs> I wonder how she's doing. like a hearty breakfast with a side of sleeping in past noon. After all, I hunted golems all day yesterday. I so deserve this luxury. Now then, the present from God that the mithril golem was protecting. If this stuff is it... Uh, uh, hey there, Yuna, we're back. Wow, y'all are back already? I just woke up. It was exactly as you said. We checked the entire cave, but there wasn't so much as a single golem to be found. That's why we were able to make such quick work of it. I'm still in disbelief. How did Fluffy Butt manage to hunt them down all by herself? I should give Bozo Red here another healthy dose of electricity. Take a hint, man. Didn't Yuna already prove herself yesterday? <sighs> Fine, I have no choice but to acknowledge your strength. That doesn't explain why the golems suddenly stopped spawning. There's only one explanation. 
It seems the Mithril Golem was responsible for spawning them. <laughs> I have big plans to rake in tons of cash there. Damn it, let's get some drinks pouring already! Keep them coming! So, it's looking like I was right about God's present causing all of this mess. Well, let's keep that a secret. I've been dying for this moment since I last saw their fluffy faces in Cremonia! So... fluffy? Hey, come on! Let me in there! Are you really sure you don't mind if I head back before you? Of course! You did all the hard work! The least we can do is take care of the rest for you. Just be sure to report to the Adventurer's Guild in the Royal Capital. Mm, all right. If you insist, then I guess I have no choice in the matter. <laughs> hey, Pet! I mean, Yuna or whatever. If you beg your hardest, well, I may just allow you to tag along with my party. You really never learn, do you? The Crimson Blade Bozo Red! The Azure Spear! Bozo Blue! The Burning Arm! Bozo Green! The Dark Gale! Bozo Black! Alabaster Healing! Bozo White! The Clawful Roar! Bozo Bear! We are the world's greatest adventurers! Bozo Rangers! Thanks, but I'd rather die. But why? No one with any sense would agree to join your party. I wouldn't, or I. Not a chance. <laughs> Alrighty, Kuma Yudu. You'll lead the way until Kuma Q's turn, okay? <gasps> now that I've collected the Mithril, that must mean it's time to save the princess. <laughs> Just kidding. Since the Gola matter, I can't thank you enough. But all I did was complete the job I accepted. Well, you completed it perfectly. You've earned your share of the reward. Sadly, I must wait for Jaden's report to come through. Right, makes sense. Does that mean I have to stay here in the Royal Capital until then? Of course not. You may collect the reward at the Adventurer's Guild in Cremonia. You're free to leave now. Though, if I'm being perfectly honest, I do wish you'd stay in the capital a while longer. <laughs> I've got to run, but I'll be back for a visit. It's so nice to see you again, Lady Yuna. Uh... Thanks, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's Yuna! Huh? Huh? Hey you, I'm back! <laughs> Look at you, you're unbearably cute. <laughs> You can't just say something like that to me, Yuna. I mean, look at you. Hmm? You're dressed like a bear. Hey, am I crazy or are you upset? You don't know what it was really like. They made me wear all these pretty clothes and meet the king and take a bath with Lady Shia. And then... That actually sounds pretty nerve-wracking. Right, um... I'm so sorry for leaving you all alone. <laughs> it's okay, Yuna. I understand. You had work to do, and really, everyone was so kind to me. It's just, the thought of making a mistake made me sick to my stomach. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, Yuna. You look well. What did you do to my poor Fina? Aw, oh, the little thing's too cute for her own good. It was like having a new sister. I couldn't help but lavish her with all kinds of attention. It's true, Lady Fina was a pleasure to look after. Uh-huh. Must you return home already? Afraid so. I've got to get Fina back to her parents sooner rather than later. Aww. Well, then please promise to pay us a visit the next time you're in the royal capital. Sure, count you on. You as well, Fina. Uh. Uh. Thank you for taking good care of me. You were lovely. Lady Yuna, huh? please accept this additional reward. What's this? It's such a nice knife. The Fashodase crest signifies that the owner of this knife is under the protection of the Fashodase family. Don't hesitate to show this if you find yourself involved in any troublesome matters. I see. Just like in Mitokomo. <laughs> Do you not see the crest on this medicine case? Boom. Oh. You sure about this? What if I use the power of nobility to get away with dastardly deeds or whatever? <laughs> uh, my, what a silly bear. <laughs> hey, I was serious. Tell me, Fina. Does Yuna seem like she's capable of doing dastardly things? No way! Yuna is the kindest and goodest person I've ever met. My mom and I owe her everything. We wouldn't be here without her. And also, without all of her help, Dad wouldn't have married Mom and the children of the orphanage wouldn't smile like they do now. Yuna is so selfless and strong, she'd never, ever do anything bad. And there's more. 
It's cool. You've made your point. <laughs> It's hard to believe you defeated a Mithril Golem, but there it is. Can you use this to craft a knife? Of course I can. Let me guess, a harvesting knife for the little lady, yeah? Huh? No, I plan to have Mr. Gold make Fina's knife. What I'd like, Mr. Gazal, is for you to make me two battle knives with this. Two battle knives? How interesting. You mean, for dual wielding? Uh-huh. The gamer in me is drooling. Poor Senia's cool fighting style! <laughs> Working with Mithril takes time and patience, so that means I'll have to split up the work. But I'll go ahead and take enough for both knives now. I'll return what I don't use. <gasps> wow, so strong! Oh, hey, that... Oh, let me take a closer look at it. I haven't seen this before, but I do know one thing. It's not ordinary. It's possible my master would know more. I didn't know you had a master. Where did you think I learned it all? Thing is, he lives far away in the Dwarven City. The Dwarven City? A true fantasy staple! That's so cool! I've gotta see it! Um, I suppose I could write a letter of introduction to my master for you. Yay! Thanks a million! <laughs> this world just keeps getting bigger. Is this another present from God? Huh? What kind of sham is this? Huh? What's a sham? See the difference in color here? The outside is mithril, but it's actually lined with iron. Iron. There's still enough here to make your knives, but you can't deny this is just basically a big sham. Good one, God. Way to be stingy. Oh, wait. This isn't the way to your house in the royal capital, is it? We're going to make a pit stop to check on Miss Mordine's shop. She may return someday, so we should make sure it's in good shape. Uh huh? And there's someone sitting in front of the shop. Something wrong? You should know this shop is closed. <sighs> No, worse, a bear swallowed an innocent girl whole? That's some kind of conclusion you jumped to. <laughs> I'm sorry I reacted like that. I came to visit my relatives in the royal capital, but their shop's closed. Hmm? Does that mean... Look, my poor auntie Maureen and cousin Karin. Where could they be? Thought so. So, you're Miss Maureen's niece? <laughs> yes, do you know them? Of course I do. They opened a shop in my hometown of Cremonia, so you can chill out. They're no longer in debt, and they're not on the run or anything. <sighs> is that really true? It is. They're known for baking yummy bread and making everyone in town really happy. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad that they're safe. Uh, my name's Nareen. Auntie Maureen is my father's little sister. I'm Yuna. I'm Fina. So you haven't heard anything from Miss Maureen, then? Nothing. They could've at least sent us a letter so we wouldn't worry. And now they're all the way out in Cremonia. I want to see them, but I'm all out of money. What should I do, um, Yuna? Hmm? <laughs> Here, this should be more than enough to ride the carriage over to Cremonia. <gasps> is that a bag of money? Heck yeah, it is. I owe Miss Maureen a lot. But... Imagine if I just left you here and something bad happened. I could never look Miss Maureen in the eye again. No thanks. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I promise I'll find a way to pay you back. You should know that your auntie is working at a popular bakery in town called Bear Haven. You'll for sure find her there. Bear Haven. I won't forget. Uh, then you didn't just tell her that Miss Maureen is actually working in your shop. Because that wouldn't be nearly as fun. Well, that's not very nice now, is it? All right. Uh, well, a lot's happened. I think it's about time we were on our way. Right. Miss Tiramina wasn't angry at me, was she? I did have you out for quite a while. No, she wasn't worried one bit. By the way, aren't we going over to visit Mr. Gold's place today? That's the plan. Oh, how fun! Can I please come along too? You're interested in harvesting monsters too, right, Cherry? If you plan to learn, you'll need the right tool for the job. Think of it as a present from me to you. <laughs> that means I'll get to help my sister. Thank you so much, Yuna! <laughs> Yay! <Yippee, hooray! laughs> Yuna? Huh? Uh. Huh? Hey, uh, Fina? What's one big sis? Sit down. Uh, thing is, I'm already sitting. Sit! Roger! What's wrong with that big silly head of yours? A single Mithra knife is already a super big deal, and now you plan to give one to Shuri too? Uh... Yeah, but what's the problem? Twisted him backwards, but now you've gone too far. The Mithra knife is not only valuable, it's terribly expensive. Huh? Plus, insist? How expensive?
expensive as a mithril knife anyway. So expensive that mom and dad would both have to break their backs every single day for months and months and more months, all just to barely afford a single one of those knives. Huh? And I didn't know, really, I don't need a knife. <laughs> um, point taken. If you're not comfortable with me giving Shuri a knife, then how about I permanently lend her one? Huh? You don't understand at all! I'm so sorry! Welcome. Can't beat these prices. Stock up while you can. I want one, please. How about this one? Yeah. Hmm. It took everything I had to just barely calm Fina down long enough to let me order an extra mithril knife for Shuri. For a tiny girl, Fina is surprisingly scary when she's mad. And I didn't love having my common sense questioned by a kid. Uh, what should I do? Uh? That's it! Brilliant! I've achieved a state of enlightenment! Uh -huh. It's time to make recompense for upsetting Fina so much! A bear is nothing without their honor! If I must channel the trickery of the devil himself to regain it, so be it! What? I knew it was a divine revelation when I saw these in the market. With them, I'll craft the ultimate weapon, the devil's dessert that every woman in every world goes crazy for. Strawberry shortcake! <gasps> <gasps> Only problem is, I don't exactly remember how to make it. Uh, you two will have to be my taste testers. <gasps> You'll be able to eat more in your larger form. Although, you might still bloat up if you eat too much. <gasps> so I'll do my part as well. I'm not afraid. This suit is very, very forgiving. Ugh, all wrong. This sponge cake doesn't complement the sweetness of the strawberries and whipped cream. I'll try again. Mm. Ugh, dang it! The texture and sweetness of this whipped cream isn't gonna cut it! I'll try again after we eat it all. <laughs> My mouth can't handle all this sweetness. I need rice crackers, stat. I wanna go back to Wah! <laughs> Hello there. Yuna, you seem a bit out of sorts. Kumayuru and Kumakyu, too. You're imagining things. We feel great. Okay, if you say so. Listen, Yuna. I'm so sorry. Huh? I got a little carried away when we last spoke. You're always so thoughtful and take such good care of my whole family. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm lucky to have someone like you to let me know when I'm being weird. Or when I'm out of line. And that's why I made you something, as both an apology and a thank you. W what's this? It looks so fluffy and pretty. <laughs> the miracle that is strawberry shortcake. It's sweet and delicious. Now, enjoy. <gasps> so yummy! What is this fluffy stuff? It looks like a cloud, but it's soft and sweet and so... so... Isn't it? It's whipped cream. It's made from cow's milk, and you can use it to make all sorts of sweet treats. Mm. These sweet strawberries are so tasty. I love it! I'm just so happy! I made plenty, so eat to your heart's content. Hooray! I meant to ask, why the sudden visit today? Yuna, isn't this the day we're supposed to go pick up the Mithril knives? <gasps> I was so busy baking cakes that I forgot. That's our Yuna, I suppose. Yeah, my bad. Let's finish stuffing our faces and then go get the knives. After that, we can harvest the black tiger. How's that sound? Mm. Actually, my dad said to tell you he wanted to ask you something about that. <gasps> it all. But why did you want her to harvest it here? It was a direct request from the guild. Miss Helen? Uh, we've confirmed the golems have stopped spawning. That quest is complete. The reward is all yours now. Awesome, thanks. And I can explain this strange request. It's rather rare for the parts of a black tiger to be harvested. That's why we wanted the staff to have the chance to study the process. Huh? You had no idea it was that special, did you? Who knows what you'll bring in next time, huh? <laughs> Now's the time. Go ahead and get started, Fina. Don't worry. I'm right here if you have any issues. Right. I'm on it, then. <laughs> you can do it, big sis! Yay! Show it who's boss, Fina! Okay. I won't fail. She cut right through. That's mithril for you. It's just so dang sharp. Uh-huh. The sharpness of the mithril knife is truly impressive. But that's not the only factor. Huh? 
Even if you had the best knife in the world, it would still take skill to cut through. Weapons aren't the only reason they're able to take down those iron brutes. They also have the skill needed to wield such weaponry. Look at my girl. She's grown up so much. She is my sidekick after all. Of course she's able to handle a mithril knife with such skill. Thank you for everything you do, Yuna. Keep on hunting and I'll harvest whatever you take down. Whether it's a black viper, a kraken, or even a dragon. No doubt. Now that's a great sidekick. <laughs> Me too! I hope too! <laughs> so fun! <laughs> now, Yuna, do you have any comprehension of how valuable mithril knives are? I do. Your daughter gave me a thorough and kind of angry explanation. I can just bring myself to accept you gifting Fina a knife since she needs it for work. But does Shuri really need something so valuable too? Like mother, like daughter. Fina also lectured me about that. I assure you it'll be kept at my house. And only used with proper supervision when needed for training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Goodness. I do wish you had discussed this with me first. I'm sorry for my inexcusable actions. Um... This may seem out of the blue, but I beg you to accept this as a peace offering. Honestly, Yuna, you really think food will make me forget my frustration? Ah! How is it so sweet and delicious? Ah! I never want this meal to end. You're a sly one, Yuna, you know that. I hey, where's my plate? Uh, old men don't eat cake, do they? That's called discrimination. Old men enjoy sweets as much as anyone else. Mm -hmm. Looks like that ship sailed. Listen, man, I'll make enough for you next time, okay? That shortcake hmm? was divine. We should sell it as a brand new menu item. Huh? Then we can eat it all the time! You're a genius, Lou! <laughs> <laughs> That's great! What have I unleashed onto this world? It really is the devil's dessert. Fear the strawberry shortcake! cake every day, I'm afraid. Puffy cake, puffy cake, it makes me say yay! Maybe not yet, but soon we'll be able to eat it whenever we want, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves until we ask Miss Maureen if she can add it to her menu. I will! Yummy cake, yummy cake, it makes me say yay! I just don't understand. Why didn't you tell us you had moved to Cremonia? I sent a letter to your father. Didn't he tell you? You mean Dad knew? But he didn't say a word to me. Why, how unfortunate. Perhaps it just slipped his mind. My own father betrayed me! I almost wandered around aimlessly in the royal capital forever and ever. No, no. We might never have reunited like this, all thanks to her. There, there lady. Miss Morning, Miss Conning, you here? But that's her, the bear! Who's the kid? What? I'm Noreen from the royal capital! It seems you helped Nareen out of a tough spot. Thank you. I heard she was a relative of yours. Talk about a coinkydink, am I right? Yes, pure happenstance. I really can't thank you enough for helping me out in my time of need. And don't worry, I have a money plan to pay back what I owe. I just need a little more time, please. You have a money plan? I actually came to visit Auntie Maureen to ask if I could join the family business. Uh... It's not a bother, is it, Auntie Maureen? Hmm... Well, there's no question that we'd love to have you work alongside us. But that decision is really up to Yuna. Miss Yuna's the owner of our little bakery here. <gasps> She's the owner?! So that's how it is, huh? How could I have failed to notice the nearly obsessive bear motif until now? Not even the forks and cups escape the theme! This level of commitment is paw-inspiring. Ugh, she probably thinks the decor is overbearing. Miss hmm? Yuna, will you allow me the honor of working here? I'd like to learn the art of bread-making from my family. You see my husband since she was just a little girl. If you don't mind, it would mean an awful lot to our family. Please say yes! Hmm, knock yourself out. <sighs> Thank you so very much. I won't let you down. <laughs> Sorry for all the hassle, Yuna. I meant to ask, did you need something? You don't usually stop by when the shop is closed. <gasps> Almost forgot. Cake! We'd like to discuss, well, a new business opportunity for the shop. Hmm? <laughs> it gets yummier every time we eat, doesn't it, sis? Careful now. You almost
almost knocked the strawberry off. What is this fluffy stuff? So sweet and satisfying. It's called whipped cream. I can't believe my severe bear also knows how to bake like a pro. That's a bit much. We were thinking that strawberry shortcake could be a popular new menu item. Would you be interested in adding it? Huh. That could prove a bit difficult. Uh, oh no, but we're counting on you for our daily cake! The problem is, we won't have time to bake it. We're at our limit with the variety of breads we already offer. Hmm. So bandwidth is the killer of our dreams. Excuse me, is this a recipe that anybody can learn? Sure, it's not like it's a difficult one. That settles it. Please allow me to learn the way of the cake. Huh? I thought it was your childhood dream to learn the art of bread or whatever. It is, but my family doesn't have time to bake this treat themselves, so it'd mean a lot to help out. Are you sure? It'd be a shame for our shop not to offer this goodness because of inconvenience. And I can learn how to bake on days the shop is closed. <laughs> We won't sell it until it's perfect, you know. I'm not afraid of a challenge. Then you're ready. I'll teach you all I know about this almighty confection. Teach me, Bear Sensei. Let's do this thing, then. I'm ready when you are. Ooh, uh, I want to bake a cake, too. Me, too, if you don't mind. Sure thing. The more, the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Miss Yuna and Fina? It's nice to see you, Lady Nina. I read the letter. Did you really visit the royal capital with Miss Yuna? And why didn't you tell me you were planning a super secret special trip to visit Mother? Miss Yuna, how could you leave me out of such an amazing journey? Um, we just went to buy Fina some work tools is all. Running into Miss Ella Laura was a total coincidence. That's some coincidence. Please help yourself, Miss Lala. Oh, I couldn't. We made way too much when we were practicing. Please have some. I'd love to hear your honest opinion of it. <sighs> this is the most delicious thing in the entire world! That's great. It's not too sweet? It's quite sweet to be sure, but that sweetness perfectly complements the tea. <laughs> this creamy stuff that you whipped up is so subtle and yet it adds so much depth to the overall experience. Wow, that's a pretty fancy compliment. <laughs> I don't drink tea often, but it goes perfectly with this shortcake. Then maybe we should sell some at the shop. If you want to do it right, you should ask Lava to teach you. She makes it seem easy, but it's harder than you'd think to brew the perfect cup. I appreciate the praise, but I can't abandon my duties. Don't worry, I'll ask Father for permission. He'd never say no to this face. Hmm, all right. It seems it's settled then. It would be my pleasure to teach you. That's right, Baba and I will teach you to make the tastiest tea ever! Do you truly intend to disregard your studies uh, for this? Of course not, not one little bit! <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way! There's just no way! I can't possibly go to the Lord's Mansion to learn how to make tea! Deep breaths, not like the Lord himself is gonna- even visiting somewhere as important as the Lord's Mansion. Uh -uh. I don't exactly get it, but I guess that means I'll have to learn the ropes from Miss Lala and teach you when I get back. Well, alrighty then. Guess it's just you and me, Fina. Yeah, what? As in me, Fina? Yep. First, I'll begin by explaining the process while I brew a pot. Be sure to watch closely. Afterward, I'll ask that you two give it a try. We're in your hands, Teach. We'll try our best. <laughs> How does this batch taste? Huh. It's a little too bitter. And I'm afraid mine is a bit on the bland side. Miss Yuna brewed the tea too long, and it seems little Miss Fina did not use nearly enough tea leaves. Guess you weren't joking when you said it's difficult to make the perfect cup of tea, huh? Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to brew up delicious tea whenever you feel like it. I used to rely on my extensive notes when I first started learning to brew tea. <laughs> Let's keep at it, shall we? I'll try taking notes as well. Until it becomes second nature, you must pay careful attention to the brew time and water temperature. Eventually, you'll develop an instinct for such things. Right, Tea Master Lala. How's the tea lesson going? Hello, Father. <laughs> a little birdie told me you're all learning to brew the perfect cup of tea. So you came to make fun of us, did you? Big fancy lord. Sure have a lot of free time. Yes, I sure do. That must be why I stopped by to try a cup of this experimental tea for myself. <laughs> 
Hmm. I would say that this tea is just barely passable. Dang, and here I thought we did pretty well. Father doesn't give his approval to just anyone, so good job! It's true, and I would say you pass as well. You both have improved a great deal in such a short time. That makes three of us. I'll also give you both a passing grade. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> mm. This treat pairs quite well with the tea. You're welcome to get more at the shop any old time you please. I will think about it. That means we're dead. <clears throat> I take it you plan on using these specific tea leaves at your shop? Huh? Perhaps it's simply the way it was brewed, but these leaves taste different than the ones I'm used to. You can tell? Why, of course I can. Hmm. These are the tea leaves Miss Lala obtained especially for our shop. I knew that keeping the price down would be key for profitability. And besides, it would be a waste to practice with the highest quality tea leaves. I see. Even so, the taste wasn't bad. Perhaps I'll have another cup just to make certain it's not a fluke. I'd like one more cup too! Oh, and another slice or two of cake! Are you sure, milady? Just one small slice? That will warrant extra physical activity today. <gasps> I'll add an extra dance class to your schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Nareen? Well, what do you think, Yuna? Cute as a cub, but you don't have to wear that. Really? But Karin insisted this uniform was required. Well, I'm wearing it, so it's only fair if Nareen has to grin and bear it as well. I asked Sherry and the couple at the tailor shop to make it as quickly as they possibly could. Ans refused. Hmm? I knew he could convince Nareen. <laughs> as long as Nareen doesn't mind, why not? Noreen seems to be having a wonderful time. Yes, she does. It's all here? Oh, it's you. Your order's ready. Could it really be? You finished my mithril knives! Mind if I give him a whirl real quick? Go for it. Let me know if you need any adjustments. What is that? An iron golem? And a bear? <laughs> They're so pretty. The black one is meant for your right hand, and the white uh, one's for your left uh -huh. hand. I match them to your bear gloves. I customize the grips to fit each paw, to help you do wield with power. Channel your mana through them. This brings me back to my gamer days. I should be able to replicate those legendary moves with my handy-dandy bear suit. <laughs> Knives are totally next level! I'd say you're the one that's next level. Look at the knives. Any chipping? Mm. There isn't, and that right there is proof of your skill. Your blade technique and mana control are both truly exceptional. You're exaggerating a bit. It's all thanks to these amazing knives. Hmm. At the very least, it's clear I don't need to make any adjustments. Mm. But mind cleaning this up? Her? Too lazy to do it yourself, then? Of course that's not it. <sighs> I'll go ahead and buy it from you. <laughs> Not necessary. Yes, it is. I'll bring you the money and the letter of introduction. Sounds great. Thanks. <laughs> Hello. Is Miss Ella Laura home? Please wait here a moment, Miss. Yuna, what brings you to the capital? Well, I came to pick up my mithril knives. I figured I'd swing by to visit Princess Flora while I was at it. Excuse me. Hmm? Thank you. Your picture book is truly lovely. My child simply can't go a day without reading it. Uh... We're all eagerly awaiting the next installment. <clears throat> what was that? How exactly does she know I'm the one who drew the picture book? Princess Flora. She's been telling everyone that a cute bear drew the book. <sighs> this way, Miss Bear! <laughs> Kumayuru! Bear! 
Princess Flora. You'll get your dress wet. <laughs> You'll be your bear next to me. <laughs> oh, I'll bring a towel. Nah, it's fine. Hmm? Ah. Baby bear. Will you look at that? Good as new. <laughs> Thank goodness. My, how unexpected. Ah, found mm -hmm. you. It's Father! Sorry to intrude. You're always welcome. Are you planning to enjoy tea together? We are. Then I shall indulge in a cup as well. <laughs> you really didn't have to, but thank you for your help today. Nah, I'm the one who should be thanking you. I'm looking for any chance I can get to up my tea game. So, sire, not busy today? My son will take care of things. What about your own duties, if I may ask? My present duty is to take care of Yuna while she's in our company. <laughs> You're so similar. Boomy, please drink this with the cake. Mm. What a delightful cup of tea. Ah, yes. It's quite delicious. You are a woman of many talents, Yuna. <laughs> Say ah! <laughs> Isn't that yummy? By the way, you know, I heard about the mine. Thank you for your efforts there. To be honest, I only helped because I was jonesing for some mithril items. What did you have crafted? A harvesting? Wield weapons and cast magic spells? I've been known to dabble, yes. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting your conversation! Zella! <laughs> your Majesty! I didn't see you there! A thousand apologies! How strange to see our head chef in a place that has nothing to do with cooking. This must be important. <laughs> well, I heard Lady Yuna was visiting. I came to right or wrong. You see, I wasn't able to thank her properly for the pudding recipe when she was here last. It's really not necessary. Don't say such absurd things. After all, recipes are the lifeblood of a chef like myself. A chef code of honor. <laughs> oh, goodness. Miss hmm. Ange? What, what is this? That is a new sweet treat that Miss Yuna made for us. This one's called Strawberry Shortcake. Would you like to try some, Mr. Head Chef? Oh. Are you certain it's okay? I insist. <laughs> Eat up, okay, sir? Thank you, Lady Yuna. What is this fluffy substance atop the cake? It's called whipped cream. I've never heard of it. It smells of milk. Is this cream a milk concoction of sorts? I see. Alternating layers of strawberries and cream, respectively. A moment of truth. Uh. <laughs> He's crying! <laughs> the cream and this cake are both too sweet and soft and innocent for this world! And then you added the daringly acidic straw! The tart juices blend majestically with the rich cream for an explosion of flavor and texture. Yes, art can indeed be edible. First the pudding and now this brilliant shortcake. Lady Yuna is overstuffed with the food wisdom which I am so blatantly lacking. These are just foods from my hometown. It's really far away, so it makes sense that you've never heard of them. Then it is my destiny to travel to all corners of the world to devour every spoonful of knowledge I can get my hands on. I appreciate your aspirations, but who would prepare meals for us in your absence? I am honored that you consider me such an asset. However, the endless quest for flavor calls. It alone can lead me to new delicacies for your majesty and the royal family. Perhaps a compromise would be inviting chefs from other countries to come and swap recipes with Zelith. Oh, what an inspired idea. And who precisely will be responsible for this inspired task? Need you ask? Waiting with bated breath for the triumphant day, my lady. The matter seems to have been settled. <laughs> Now then, allow us to treat you to dinner as thanks for the pudding and shortcake. You sure? I welcome the challenge of cooking for the sheep, whatever you desire. Hey! That means I get to eat dinner with the cute little bears! How delightful. We get to hold on to these little cups <laughs> of the <laughs> oh. I don't even want to think about food for a while. I ate way too much. <sighs> Mr. Zelef's cooking was delicious. The king has a point. That's one head chef who's worth holding on to at all costs. Hmm. Princess Flora and Queen Kitia loved hanging with you two. I think they'd have kept snuggling you forever if they could have. Maybe I should make stuffed animal versions of Kuma Yuru and Kuma Q for them. 
I bet it would make them happy to get a nice snuggly present like that. Kuma, Kuma, calisthenics begin! Mm -hmm. First off, let's get into the rhythm. Now raise your paws and strike a very scary platform. Now lower your hips down and do the salmon scoop. There's a beehive full of honey. Oh no, the bees stung us. Oh jeez. This might sound silly, but what are you doing? Oh, good morning, Fina. The amount of shortcake I've packed away in the past few days is kind of insane. So I thought I should get more exercise to balance it out. You know. Anywho, what brought you here so uh, early? I almost forgot. So, um, it's not any of my business, but did you also get this letter? Don't think so. But hey, one way to find out. Yes, I did. Hmm? Misana Farngrom. Misana. Oh! Feel free to visit whenever you want. You're always welcome, Miss Bear. Or should I say Yuna? So, it's a letter from Misa. Last time we saw her face was at the Royal Capital, right? Wonder what she had to say. It's an invitation. Huh? We've been summoned to celebrate the day of Lady Misa's birth. Both of us have been invited to a noble's birthday party. What in the world are we going to do? Most people are SVP. Hmm. But do we go? Still, every bit as grateful you saved me from those mob united with my cherished cousin Noah, or become friends with sweet Fina had it not been for your valiant efforts, so I thank you. My dear defender Yuna, I will soon be holding my 10th birthday celebration, and I would be absolutely elated if you and Fina were able to attend. A B-Day party, huh? I don't understand why she invited me. Well, I'm twice as confused since you're way closer to Misa than I've ever been. Closeness aside, we can't attend something as extravagant as a noble's birthday party. <gasps> can't be as grand as the king's birthday, and I've been there, done that already. Sounds like a pay a party we can pass, I think. Oh gosh, my tummy's hurting again. Will something bad happen if we respectfully decline to go? I doubt that I'll ever understand nobles, so your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> I bet that question's a no-brainer for an actual noble. Yes, we received an invitation to the party as well. Grandfather Grand specifically asked me to take you ladies with us in our carriage. Who's Grand? Is that Mesa's magician-looking grandpa? That's right. He's the head of the Farangram family, and since their birthdays are close, they're celebrating his 50th birthday at the same time as Mesa's this year. Are we allowed to decline the invite? You don't really intend going? to come? Um, hypothetically speaking, would- well, Of course not. Do you really think nobles such monstrous fiends? Not sure what to think, since we honestly don't know that much about nobles. But I know we're not the kind of peeps you'd see at their birthdays. While I would love to pay Lady Misa a visit, I, I can't help but worry about offending other party guests who aren't familiar with all the customs and etiquette involved. Hmm. We could accidentally cause trouble for Misa and her family, which might cause trouble for everyone else, right, Fina? Mm-hmm. Ah, so that's why. In that case, you've nothing to fear. The only ones who received invitations to Lady Misano's birthday party are close friends and members of the family. And should any hijinks arise, Noah and I will be there to keep everything under control. I know for a fact Misa would love to see you, so please reconsider and come with us. But wouldn't you like to see her as well? She'll be devastated if you ladies don't go. She may even cry because of it. <laughs> Stop and put yourself in her shoes. Imagine inviting two of your dearest friends to celebrate your birth only for them to decline. <laughs> you make a very good point, so I'll go. Great! If Fina plans to attend, that means Miss Yuna will definitely do the same. Hmm. Guess I could bear a birthday bash. Oh, wonderful! We'll embark on another thrilling trip! We haven't a single moment to waste. Come with me so we can choose which dress you'll wear for the party, Fina. What? Oh, don't fret. I'll do a much better job picking out your- Yuna! <laughs> Is there anything I need to prepare for this event, like some sort of speech or escape route? We can take care of all the formalities. The only thing I request you bring apart from yourselves is a birthday gift you can present to Misena. That's kind of tough, though. What can I possibly get that a rich girl like Misa doesn't already have? Hmm. Huh. 
She adores you and your bear, so perhaps something with a bear motif from your cafe? My little Noah would be delighted to receive such a gift. Cliff the idea bank over here. Hmm, now that it's narrowed down, what kind of bear-themed thing would a ten-year-old girl flip her lid to get her hands on? Oh! Same thing I was planning to make for Princess Flora. Bingo! I have the perfect gift in mind now, so thanks for the brainstorm sesh. Heyo! Sorry I didn't make an appointment. We don't have any other customers at the moment, so your timing actually couldn't be better if you tried, Yuna. Mrs. Naru and Mr. Tomoka still helping you live the dream? Yes! They're always very patient no matter what new skill they're teaching me, and they make delicious sweets every once in a while, too. Anyway, are you here for clothes? It's kinda clothes-like. Ah! Wow! I can't believe my eyes! Those two can't be Kumayuru and Kumikyu as girls! Look at the wolfy wolfy little baby faces! Think you could make some stuffed animals about this size? And just as cute? Should make your measurements real quick! Mm -hmm. Yay! Okay, here I go! There is one teeny tiny catch. I need to have both bears and all their adorable glory finished in five days or less, but I'm willing to pay an expedited service fee. As long as I adjust my work schedule a little bit, I should be able to make them within that time frame. Don't worry about the shop. This is your first official job, right? I made the aprons before, too. Why not focus on this project and let us handle your other work for now? I probably should. But I want to do them all. Juggling multiple projects at once is part of the job. Sherry, sure, dear. It doesn't matter if I'm sewing a button or an entire stuffed animal. I want to do every task I'm given properly because they're all important to me. Well, it sounds like your mind's pretty made up on this one. You win. Just don't overdo it, okay? And we're still here to help, so don't be afraid to ask for it. Okay, thanks for trusting me. Bo mentioned Naru and Tomoka were wanting to adopt their young apprentice, but they already look like quite the affectionate family to me. Ahem. <clears throat> But wait, there's more stuffed animal fun. I'd like to order a few sets of these little bears. I feel like they would make the kids at the orphanage super happy. I don't just feel like it'd make them happy. I know it would. But such a big order... Isn't meant for one person. All three of you can make those. No rush. Take all the time you need. Getting Misa's present squared away is a huge weight off my shoulders. And the heartwarming scene that I got to bear witness to made today even more of a win. <laughs> You didn't have to come outside to welcome me. I can't believe you left me behind and went home. <sighs> I'm really sorry, but they're good people and I thought it might take a minute. Will you be donning a gown for this party as well? Dresses are just something I've never been able to rock. Though I am looking forward to seeing a cutie patootie like you decked out in one. You like the dress Noah picked for you or you just go with it? Oh, I actually like it very much. And Lady Misa will be pleased as punch with it, I've no doubt. Is that a fact? All's well that ends well then. I had a pretty productive day in terms of prepping for the party, too, so yay us. <laughs> I'm giving her plushies of Kumayuru and Kumikyu. That's a terrific idea for a gift, Yuna. Genius! She's going to love those things to pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what should I get for her? A noble's taste is probably out of my price range. How about we make your gift something from the both of us? Oh, Yuna, don't. I can't possibly take credit for your stuffed animal idea. I meant another gift. Something even a noble girl's birthday has to have. A sweet treat to enjoy. What kind of sweet treat, though? I uh, think we're on the same page now. Let's bake the birthday girl a gigantic strawberry shortcake. It's certainly delicious food for that. You know you wanna, don't you? Have fun, and please keep a careful eye on her, Yuna. I vow to vanquish any monster that bars our path, and any noble who dares to pick on the precious angel that is your daughter, Miss Tirmina. Maybe don't vanquish the other party guests? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what's wrong, Sherry? <laughs> Bina gets to have all the fun, and I don't. Come to think of it, I haven't taken Sherry on any adventures since we visited Milila. Guess I'll have to add another set of stuffed bears to that order. I have some advice for you. Um... What kind of advice? Though it can be very fun to leave the comfort of your home. Just know, the odds of being swept into difficult situations increases with each step your little feet take. You're smiling, but it's really scary and I don't like it. Be good and stay home, while you can. Give your muscles time to develop, and then when you're older, you'll be able to endure the worst stomach aches imaginable. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! It's Kumayuru and Kumakyu! <laughs> 
You said we were going by carriage. Well, Noah's heart set on riding the bears once you agreed to come. We'll get there a lot faster without towing a carriage, so you won't hear me complaining one bit. But, uh, why the small entourage? <clears throat> Their names are Rabon and Gothis. We're honored to work alongside you, Lady Yuna. Though I'm of the mind that we don't need any guards when you travel with us, I was informed I should at least take two. You said that like you aren't the lord of all Cremonia. I seem to forget when I'm around you. Miss Yuna! Uh -oh. We'll ride them like we did last time. I'll take Kuma Q for the second half of the journey. Sounds good to me! Onward to Misa's home, my lovable bears! <laughs> 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 Well, I think there's a great harvest, Granny. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one, Grandpa Habit. Huh? Oh, this is the best! <laughs> We're going to master by all these doing! It looks like some of Noah's excitement is rubbing off on Kuma Q. What do you say we make it a race? Mush! <laughs> oh, it's all right! Let's take it to top speed! The journey, not a race! Granny, can you see some girls on some bears right by just now? I sure deadly did, and they have pep in their step, too. Slow down! Oh. The wear our mounts out to keep up this ridiculous pace. And horses are riding very hard and sell, huh? I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one as well, Grandpappy. Put in the horse car! Stand back and be amazed, people. Travel version Bear House. And just like that, tonight's camp is set. My daughter gave me fair warning, but the way you break the laws of physics must be seen to be believed. I'd be perfectly content sleeping outside. It's a lot safer for us to sleep in the bear house. But if we all camped like normal, we could doze off snuggled up with Yuna's bears. Huh, no worries. Kuma Q and Kuma Yuru can shrink down to a size that fits inside the travel house. So you can have the best of both worlds. They get smaller? That sounds so cute! <laughs> I'm glad that it worked out, Lady Noah. Another perk about their cub size is how much more huggable they are. I bet! Is it just spectacular? Oh, <laughs> Everyone must be exhausted, I'm sure. Let's stick a fork in this done day and rest. Gojus and I are uh, gonna stand guard, but you go on ahead. Yes. It's way comfier inside, you guys. Not to mention, my bears can detect things like monsters and bandits if they come anywhere close. So standing guard's kinda pointless. Our own comfort isn't what we're concerned with right now. We'd like to be in the company of our hard-working horses till dawn's first light. <laughs> gotcha. We really should have thought of everyone else before we started our little race. My bad. Sorry for the trouble my excitement caused you. <laughs> oh. At the very Lady Yuna, my mouth's starting to water just looking at it. <laughs> I do believe that does it. Now, we feast. Ah, the breath irresistibly fluffy and chewy. Mm, and this grilled fish is splendid. Eating so well while traveling is like dreams. Yes! Every spoonful of soup I take is filled with delicious fishy goodness. I think Miss Ons packed half the ocean into this batch of seafood soup, so there's lots to go around. Anyone want another bowl? Yes, yes please. please! It's hard to keep my eyes open with a tummy that's so full of food. And I feel the same. Before you succumb to your food comas, you girls gotta take a bath. Okay... This house has a bath? But of course. Father? Huh? It's called a bear it's not a bear barn. And I'm fully aware of that. But to have hot meals and baths in the middle of nowhere? I mean, anyone would be surprised. Would you like to take your bath before we do? Why don't the three of us take one all together? Gotta clean up here before I clean myself. You ladies go on and start without me. Very well, then. Fina and I will have everything prepared for your arrival, Miss Yuna. Um, what do we have to prepare, though? You're last in the bath, Clifford. Me too? Are you certain? Sheelan's a bear hop, skip, and jump away now. Shouldn't the lord of a city present himself well when he shows up? You do sound like a normal human being. Question that's random and late, but what is Sheelan like? That is a random and late question. Sheelan actually has a lot in common with Cremonia, so you should feel right at home. Huh. One final question. Is there another reason you're attending this double birthday party thing? Don't nobles have better ways to spend their precious time? I'm upholding connections, though. That's a vital part of being a lord. Huh. Guess I misjudged you. You what? Uh... I figured Sheelan had a scrumptious specialty that was drawing you there. Have you no taste? <sighs> Miss Yuna! <sighs> we're waiting! Yeah, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. City lord matters can be somewhat tough to grasp. Don't burden yourself with such thoughts. Just enjoy the party. What? Um, sure. <sighs> I know. 
I can sense them too. Set one foot closer and I'll attack you! Huh? Pick up your speed stats! <sighs> it looks like I made it in time. Uh -oh. <sighs> huh, deja vu all over again. Hunting complete! There we go. Hit the road whenever you're ready, guys. Thank you for all of your help, my lady. I wish we had more than words to offer you. I was close by. I needed the exercise, so don't sweat it. You did a super job, Miss Bear. And you did a super job of being brave. <laughs> Everything from your outfit to your power fits the description of the rumors to the letter. Again with the rumors? What exactly have you heard about me? A variety of things. I've heard you're a strong young woman who lives in Cremonia and dresses like, like a bear. And how you run your own businesses. I'll have you know that you're quite famous in merchant circles. Rumors about me have spread this far. Wait, does that mean you're a merchant? Yes, I, I am. Though we just closed down our shop in Sheelan with hopes of trying again in another town. <laughs> hmm? uh, there you are! You ran off so fast, is everything okay? Oh my god, <laughs> Cliff was right. The city of Shilin does have a lot in common with Cremonia. In a good way. They're staring at us. That they are. Well, maybe if Cliff and Noah didn't have two escorts and fancy clothes, they wouldn't be ogling us now. If anybody's ensemble is making them ogle, it's yours. That was a joke. I know why they stare, but I'd rather not accept that fact and live in denial. Thanks. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, you know. Take heart, for it's not as it may seem. They're only staring because of how darling you look in your bear outfit. Stop, Noah! You're making me feel like a zillion times worse. Huh, the crowd sure, uh, thinned out. Random question. Finally, uh, we're here. The far and from estate is so lovely! Greetings, travelers. We've been expecting you all. Always a pleasure to see you, May Shoot Deer. I'm glad that you appear to be in such good health. Lord Cliff, and I'm amazed by how much Lady Noir has grown. Well, I have gotten a lot taller. Lady Yuna and Lady Fina, I presume? Both Lord Gran and Lady Meeson overcount the heroic way you saved them in quite the epic tale. Embellished, I'm sure. You were misinformed. I didn't do anything. Regardless of that, my lady patiently awaits us. Please follow me and I'll take you to her. Misa! Hello, Noah, Fina, and Yuna. Thank you for traveling all the way to Shilin. I'm delighted you're here. <laughs> now that is one bright's about coming. But I'm glad I did. Grandfather's party will be held here in four days' time, and then my own soiree will be held two days after that. Grandfather! Huh? Could you spare a moment to say hello to our guests? I'll always have time for Cliff and O'Hear, and it seems Miss Bear and young Fina have graced us with their presence as well. Thank you all for coming to celebrate my Misa now. I assure you the pleasure is ours, Grandfather Gran. I was very honored to come. Thanks for inviting us to your home. And it's such a grand event. Why was I the only one he didn't call by name? I'm glad to see you in such good spirits and health, heading the family even at the tender age of 50. Only because I can't depend on my successor. Father, you're being too dramatic. It's a proper welcome now. Hello, I'm Misa's father, Leonardo. So glad to finally meet you, Miss Bear. Um, charmed, I'm sure. Thank you for getting along with my daughter, despite her not knowing the ways of the world, Miss Vina. Well, sure! It's nice to see you too, Bot. The pie food will be divine with you in charge. As always, sir, your palate will be pleased. Lord Gran and I made sure this week's menu will rival the royal delicacies you're used to. Bot is our family's head chef, and I haven't had a bite of this cooking that I didn't totally love. Good food, huh? Well, color me intrigued. So you're the famous Miss Bear. And what if I am? I owe you thanks. There's a chance Lord Gran and Lady Our Savior as well, and worthy of our finest food. <laughs> Misa and Grandad Gran sure are loved. Other nobles should be taking notes. <laughs> Isn't our market great? This is the liveliest place in the whole city of Sheelin, too. I bet. Feels like I'm at the capital with all these shops and people here. Mm. Cremonia is a lively city too, you know. Don't make it some silly competition, Noah. <laughs> 
I'm glad you girls are having fun, but don't have so much that you up and forget your promise to stick close to me, okay? That's the only reason you got permission to venture out. To ease your worries, I can simply hug you as we walk, uh, just like this! Hugs! And the same goes for me! Hugs! I shall hug her uh, even harder! Uh, I do need hugs! Hugs! <laughs> A bear? I think so. A bear got in the city? I can't tell if those girls are being attacked or not. Looks like the girl's attacking the bear. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Let him talk. time in the royal capital. It is! It's nice to be out and about since I've been barred from leaving my home lately. That is some seriously super strict parenting right there. But you're a real noble lady, so it makes Hang sense. Hang on! Don't forget about me! Uh, I'm a real lady too! <laughs> a prime example of dignity and grace right before your very eyes! If this is a right treat for you, then let's go all out. No rules. Do whatever we want. And just enjoy the time that we have. We really should, right? Gross! I smell the stench of poverty around here. <laughs> Why, it's none other than poor Misena stinking up every path she walks down from the Eastern District. I guess you just reek of destitution more than usual since you're in the company of a crazy woman dressed as a bear. <laughs> Taking your pet for a walk on you. <laughs> Uh-oh. The urge to punch this kid is strong. But keeping the girls safe is more important than keeping jerks in line. So I'm gonna have to play it cool. But why is he saying such insulting things to the city lord's granddaughter? His cravat on too tight? You could at least tell me thank you, Misena. It isn't that hard. And I did come a very long way to attend Old Man Grant's party, so lower your head in gratitude and show me respect. I figured he was a noble based on one. I can even stay a few days longer and grace your party with my presence, too. Ooh, that Lord Randall for you! Shows kindness, even if they're poor. Please don't come. Huh? Don't come to my party! Hey, hush your mouth and know your place, little girl. The days that your family has left on top are numbered. <laughs> Acknowledge the situation you're in and suck up to me while you have the chance to get on my good side. Okay, that's enough. Get lost, Fuzzy! If you think some dopey bear can get in my way without consequences, you're wrong. It's a bodyguard's job to get in the way. No bodyguard in the history of mankind would choose that attire, fool. Just turn your attention to the gentleman behind me if you want to see what a real one looks like. I promise you that Yuna is a lot stronger! We don't even know that. Your teddy bear is strong. That joker alive. The only joke here is you. Huh? Can't talk to a nine-year-old without a band of bootlickers and a bodyguard bought with daddy's money right over your shoulder? How old are you supposed to be, little boy? If you're dad afraid of Misa, you should run on home and suck your lunch out of your baby bottle. <laughs> you take that back! Lucky catch! What the- Come on, I'm just a teddy bear, right? Uh, hey, Brad! Little help here! <laughs> Embarrassed you fell on your butt, blame Brad for cutting in and yourself for telling him to. Or better yet, I'll order Brad to turn you into a throw rug! Please look around, my lord. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Mark this day. No man or beast crosses me and gets away with it! <laughs> You held your own, kid. I'm most sorry to you, Fina. You didn't come all the way to Sheelan to experience that. I should be the furthest thing from your mind. And besides, I'm far more worried about you. I'm the sorry one. I was useless. No. I don't deserve sympathy. And while Father did warn me not to involve myself with the Salbarts, it was fear that kept me from doing anything helpful back there, not Father's words. Though Randall said such awful things to you, I just stood and watched. Don't be sorry, because I know exactly how you feel. You aren't meant to handle that stuff. Cliff asked me to tag along so I could deal with all the jerkwads. I guess he did. And I take it that particular jerkwad is a noble, yeah? That's right. He's cocky because he belongs to the family of Sheelan's city lord. Ah, got that city lord privilege. Wait, what? Hang on. Isn't Sheelan's lord your grandfather? Grandfather runs the eastern district of our town. The Salbards preside over the west. Sheelan has been ruled by two city lords. 
I heard what happened. You had the bad luck of meeting the Salbard brat. Yeah, and that little punk is one aggro piece of work. And both of us owe you our thanks for protecting the children from his bullying. We never meant for such trouble to come to our guests, so I think an apology is in order as well. You get a free pass since Misa's my friend. Cran and Randall are like the night and day of nobility. How are the girls, by the way? Well, Misa was pretty down about it. But Noah and Fina are on cheer-up duty, and I think it's working. I hate that their sweet day in the city turns sour. Difficulties among adults shouldn't trickle down and affect the children of their family trees. When you say difficulties among adults, are you perhaps alluding to the fact that two lords rule one city? Noah and Misa told you? Just a tiny bit. They said a while back, there were two nobles who greatly contributed to the kingdom, and the ruler before the previous king split the city of Shilin between them. Flash forward to the present time, and you get Shilin's dual city lord debacle. Just how senile was that old fart? Quite a fair amount. Don't be rude. Oh. The system worked fine in the past because our families got along. But then, the head of the Salbard family changed, and our relationship fell apart. They caused trouble for us in various ways. Like needlessly provoking Mesa. And if we send them complaints, they tell us not to concern ourselves with fights amongst children. It gets worse. Better economic benefits for the Western District, which stalled financial activity to the East, and decreased tax revenue as a result. Their witty response to that grievance was, the merchants are perfectly free to do business wherever they choose. It's like Malila all over again. The Merchant Guild was the source of the trouble there, too. I'm warning are you. Are evil? Huh? Since profits in the East District fell, His Majesty may dismiss my status as Shilin City Lord. In which case, the Salbards would be the sole proprietors, of course. Which is surely their goal. They've already gained the favor of most powers in the city. I knew that nobles could have it rough, but man... It's the real reason we're making Grand's birthday such a big event. To show the influencers in Shilin, the Farin Grum family still has plenty of allies and is standing strong. My attendance is a declaration the Foshurose family is one such ally, you see. Ah, that's what you meant about upholding connections that night at the Bear House. I wasn't trying to hide this issue from you so much as I was trying to ensure you and the other young ladies enjoyed the party without any concerns. I suppose my efforts were in vain, though. I don't see how one big party can fix one big problem, but... If you guys wind up becoming homeless, I guess I could take custody of Misa and raise her myself. Don't speak such things into existence. I see nothing wrong with her humor. We're fine. I have faith that our plan will be a successful one. We shall provide a welcoming atmosphere. And while guests fill their stomachs, we'll fill their minds with our ideas. One way... Food's powerful. I guess that's why politicians and rich people are all about that party life. Botts was the sous chef of a choice restaurant in the royal capital. He's certainly one of the top five chefs in the land. And while he obviously isn't an adventurer, I would consider his cooking a type of weapon. Everything Botts made was definitely delightful. Mmm... There's an emergency! Oh, forgive my outburst, my lord. You're fine, Mishun. Now, what's wrong? I'm sorry to report. Mr. Botts has been seriously injured. Not possible! No. Huh? I let my guard down. Now I've let both of you down, too. I know how much these parties mean. For now, Botts, rest. The magic used to heal you won't return the strength to your arm by itself. Who's going to cook for your guests, though? Calm down. Though I love all your cooking, your health is far more important, so please get well soon. I, I'm so sorry, my lord and my lady. <laughs> Doesn't get much kinder than Misa and Gran. You're pretty kind, too. Thanks for the healing magic. Though his wounds are healed, he won't be cooking for a while, right? That's right. Three guesses as to who attacked Mr. Botts. Why three when I only need one? We just don't have proof or witnesses to pin this on the Salbards. They must have realized the importance of this party and want to knock Gran off his city lord pet without a chef. And even if Shilin had one as talented as Botts, they would have been bought off by the Salbards. So I made arrangements. Mm -hmm. We prepared the horses and can leave at any time. We'll be as quick as we can, Lord Cliff. May the wind be at your backs the whole way. Thanks. We're, We're off. off. They're bringing a replacement chef from Cremonia. We should make it in time, but just barely. You should have asked me to fetch a chef. My bears may be big, but you know they're fast. I already told you earlier. I want you to enjoy your time here without any concerns. You should be where Noah, Fina, and Misa are. Your call, Cliff. Ah! The novelty of basking mm. in your cuteness just never gets old, ever! <laughs> I want to dazzle you right away, Randall! Okay? I may not look it, but I'm very happy to see Kuma Yuru and Kuma Q again, and in these heartbreakingly cute cub forms, no less. 
first date should be a fun time. But my family's problems caused problems for you and not bots. And all I can do is sit here. And how exactly are you to blame for that stuff? It's all that little turd's... Uh, that turdtastic rich kid and his family's fault. So, um, there was really no point in rephrasing that? I know you're right. But still. No, please don't frown. You are starting to frown, too. Oh, they are? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can force a smile, but I can at least hug you. Good. You're just so cute. <laughs> it's me. May I come in? Yes, of course. Stop, Cliff. Good news? Bad news? Rabone and Gojus were attacked right on the outskirts of the city. <laughs> so they're watching our every move. A large volley of arrows rained down on them. Like Mr. Botts, they both live to see another day. But they'll be bedridden for a while. <laughs> One guess as to who did it. Right, but we've no proof yet again. I know I told you I want you to enjoy yourself, but I'm running out of options. I'll gladly put myself in your debt to repay that which I owe Lord Gran. What now? Are you gonna help them? Oh yeah, can't pass up the chance to put that haughty hothead in his place. I won't allow that! Why not? The feud between my family and the Solbards has already endangered the lives of three good men. No more. I refuse to allow more violence. I won't sit by and watch someone else get hurt, especially if it's you! You're one of the kindest people that I know, and I'm glad you care about me. But you said it yourself. I'm way stronger than they are, right? But, but thanks. I got a chef of my own in mind, and he is awesome. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll have a safe and successful trip. Here's hoping. Look out for Misa and Noah while I'm gone. Seems the Salbards aren't monitoring this area. Mm. Gotta find a hidden space to set up a transfer gate. Then I'm off to find my culinary genius. Sorry to drop in so suddenly, but I have some business with the castle and was hoping you'd help me get in touch. I feel like you've been enough times that you could have stopped by the castle directly, no? I want to make a direct request to the king, so I definitely need to follow the proper protocol this time around. Does this have anything to do with the letter I received from Cliff saying you were attending the birthday parties of Lord Gran and Lady Misa, dear? I sense it does. I can fill you in, but it's kind of a downer of a story. The Solbard and Farngrim families. Well done, Grandfather. <clears throat> what a massive headache my predecessor made. Yes, I wish he thought of the issues his idea would create for future generations. Scuffles among the nobles are bound to happen no matter what actions you take. The situation going on in Shilin is admittedly unusual, though. As expected, they knew guys. I don't think you've been introduced to the men at my right, have you? The one donning green is Zong. I'm the king's prime minister, and as such would like to take this opportunity to thank you for saving the royal capital citizen from Gulsum's evil schemes. It's quite the honor to meet you, Miss Bear. My name is Ernot, and I'm King Faroe's heir. Which would make him this country's prince. Which would make him Princess Flora's big brother. Thank you for treating the royal family so well. Father always pushes his work on me when you visit, just so he can rush to greet you. His mouth is smiling, but his eyes sure aren't. It's not like I ask his dad to do that. <clears throat> it can't be denied I owe you. So tell me your request, and I shall fulfill it within We reason. can't get directly involved in disputes among the nobles, though. And while it's a shame their chef was attacked, there's no proof. Well, there are rumors about the Sawbard family floating around the mill, and they speak of violence, embezzlement, and blackmail, but there's no hard evidence to back those accusations either. <sighs> Which are very valid points. But the Sawbards have nothing to do with Yuna's request. Can I borrow Zelef for a couple days? The same Zelef that's my personal chef? I wasn't aware there was more than one Zelef living at the castle now. You didn't come to voice a single complaint about the Sawbard family. You just said you can't get involved with disputes among nobles, so what makes you think I can? All I want is for the parties to go on and for my friends to be happy. That means you're favoring the Farangrim family, though. Sure, if that's how you see it. And I can't stand it one bit. Mm. You never change yet still surprise me. Publicly, I can't show favoritism among the nobles. We shall make this formal request from the Foshorese family so as not to raise eyebrows. Which is just fine. I don't see the Solbards being suspicious since our family is already allied with the Farangrim family. So... You're okay with letting Zelef go? Indeed, if Zelef has no misgivings about joining you. I overheard everything, Your Majesty! Well, that's convenient. The arms of a chef! 
are more valuable than a chef's entire life! Using shady tricks to harm such arms is unforgivable! The sanctity of the culinary world has been stumped on this traitorous and cruel act! Uh... uh... <laughs> of course, the seasoned huntress of food would follow the breadcrumbs. I'm not surprised. What? Well, sounds like a trip to Sheelin is inevitable for me, too. I'll salt the path for you! Uh... I think someone overcooked his brain. My word, to think those itty-bitty bears could grow this large. Funny enough, the big version is the normal size. You're gonna ride Kumaku all on your own. I bet it's your first time riding a bear. But I promise it's not dangerous or scary. Hello, <laughs> Hmm. Ever notice how impressively meaty your bears are? Huh? The perfect ratio of tenderness and resilience, yet still maintains plenty of fat. Hey, um, Mr. Seloff? You're kind of getting weird and it's freaking out the bears. Miss Yuna, dear. Uh, uh-huh. Bear paws are a delicacy in some lands. Hey! Would you look at that? It's time to go! Getting down to the wire, so full speed! <laughs> you won't need me. But I'm useless like this! Don't be so hard on yourself. Yuna's bringing us another chef as we speak, so all you should be focused on is your own recovery, bots. No, you don't get it! When I was kicked out of the royal capital by a jealous superior, Lord Gran rescued me! To leave my savior's party to some unknown chef is just out of the question! Your unknown oh. chef is here. How many years has it been since we sharpened our skills together, eh? Seems some of those years weren't too kind. Well, I'll be. Yuna saves the day! Cliff, is that man who I think he is? Yes, indeed. Yuna apparently brought an absurd replacement for your party. How's that replacement the royal head chef, though? He's the royal head chef? Frustration and anger all too well. If I'm granted your permission, this clandestine chef would gladly share your strife. Well, I have zero complaints if it's you, Zalif, but we gotta make up for lost time and get a new party menu ready fast. <laughs> Very well. Glad to be back in the kitchen with you. Working side by side. Same. Now, the ingredients we have are right this way. Remind me what Sheelan's specialties are. Oh, uh, Miss Yuna could persuade the King's Cook to come all this way to cater for a birthday party. I'm glad you made it back. Safe and sound. Thanks for the warm welcome, Fina. And now, we've got an awesome double birthday to look forward to. <laughs> and there's sure to be a blast. Been a long time coming. But old Giza Gran is about to fold. He'll be feeling the pinch a lot tighter once I bribe the Merchant Guild and secure the weaknesses of all his allies. And let's not forget Brad's phenomenal work. Not only did you injure Grand Chef in that Bath Lord's Night, you were able to accomplish your deeds without leaving a shred of evidence. That's what you paid me for. <laughs> the Adventurers Guild may think you're a hot potato, but I'm certainly glad I hired you. The awful food of that fogey's party will annihilate what's left of his public <laughs> image. Then I, Gershodo Salbard, will at last have all of Sheelan under my control. You're way too nice, Dad. Merely ordering Brad to injure his targets isn't half as good as having them killed. Yeah? No one can oppose us, right? We're above the mark. Our underground captives could be the first victims of our killing spree. Stupid child! Had there been casualties, Gran would have surely cancelled the whole event. What's more, hostages lose their worth if they aren't alive. <laughs> Seems I spoiled him too much. But nothing a little discipline won't fix. As for now, I shall delight in the dreadful fare they'll serve at the soiree, celebrating my glory. <laughs> First off, I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight and joining in the celebration of my birthday. I'm sure everyone came hungry, so please, enjoy the food, beverages, and music we have prepared with the utmost sincerity. What a coincidence. Our Lord has said the very same thing. As hearty as ever. <laughs> yes. Why, if it isn't the man of the hour? Congratulations on living through half a century, Lord Gran. I'm so pleased you could attend, Lord Gajur. I heard the Eastern District had been lifeless lately, but that proved wrong. This is quite a turnout. Well, I've been the Lord much longer than you, and have acquired a fair share of friends. But I hope you can forget about work and simply enjoy yourselves, gentlemen. I'm positive that we'll enjoy ourselves. How could we not when the food was made by a sous chef from a very renowned restaurant? In fact, I might just be the happiest person in the room tonight. He'll eat his words for dessert. And I can't wait. I hope Lady 
know our Lady Misa all right. Even someone as dumb as Randall's salad bar shouldn't cause a scene at a shindig like this. Mm -hmm, these are good too. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So crispy and crunchy and yummy. I pray married life has been treating you... Take a good look at the ones who approach Gran and talk. I want to remember the faces of the fools who actually believe he has power in Sheelan so he can correct their mistake. Well said. Such idiots should be nipped in the bud at first glance, if not sooner. I'll drink to that. Our city will only prosper in the ever-capable hands of Lord Gajurdo. What about Cliff Folkshurase, though? He's remarkably close to Gran, and Cremonia's been doing well under him. Relax. He's all bark, no bite, I assure you. Just an average lord who gained a little land because the woman he married is favored by the king himself. Come, gentlemen, let's see how defeat tastes. It's a treat for the eye, but I'm sure the tongue's a different story. <laughs> how embarrassing for a city lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What sorcery is this? But how? That was delicious. Why, my palate's never been so pleased. Oh, uh, is so much flavor no. packed into every last bite? <laughs> the real question is how her poor family was able to afford this spread. Hush, you stupid child. Splendid oh. cooking. Even the royal capital is there a better word than delicious? This is amazing. As stable as ever. They're all loving it. But if a lord like me questions this cuisine, they're bound to follow suit. I can't hold back my disgust any longer! What is this pig slop? How dare the farm groom serve such revolting food to such distinguished guests? I doubt the city of Sheelan has ever seen shame like this before! I take it you're displeased with our food? Well, clearly! I was expecting better of a former sous chef from the capital. I'm starting to wonder if someone else took over and cooked this inedible refuse. I see. Yes, tonight's menu was indeed prepared by somebody else. Aha! But why didn't you use your exclusive chef for this extravagant occasion? Do you not think us as worthy as you? No, that's not it. Despite the high bar, I made sure his replacement was just as good as Bot's. Hmm. What a bold front. Well, I suppose it does make sense the farm grums would think trash like this is good. When you're so low, trash is all you know. That's an excellent point you have. How could you so- <laughs> <laughs> My, it's almost too easy. Hmm. Can't contain my smile. I doubt Yuna can either. Now our problem is solved. Thank you, Miss Yuna. We aren't out of the woods just yet. Gotta have some countermeasures ready once the party starts. Uh... Come on! A dude this bad is not gonna stop with just attacking Chef Bots RD. He'll for sure pull something at the party. What kind of stunt could he possibly pull? My thought is well. He'll have witnesses this time. He knows your chef won't be able to cook, so it's a guarantee he'll complain. I can hear his grating voice now. Ugh! Why are you feeding us this trash? And scene. Yes, you're right. On second thought, that's pretty tame. His type might plant actual trash or poison in the food, maybe even bugs. And if he's got a subordinate he wants to get rid of, he could just poison their food. Um, why are you guys looking at me like that? Good grief. They asked what that jerk face might do, so I answered honestly. Well, one of your predictions was spot on. Does that mean you all have a plan? Nothing wrong. You bet your bow it does. His mouth's about to be his own downfall. Interesting. If I'm not mistaken, I thought I saw you enjoying the meal quite thoroughly. Age has worsened your eyes, old man. If I say it's bad, that means it's bad. <clears throat> How'd you even manage to move shield? Oh? Now that he mentions it. Hmm. When I say it's bad, it means it's bad. Because my words become the truth. Pardon me! Hmm. My name's Zelef, and I'm the one to blame for every dish and delicacy offered to you this fine night. So you think my cooking is better off on the ground? It tasted that terrible. It looks familiar, but no matter. Hmm. It absolutely did. I would swear you're a garbage man parading as a chef. If you are satisfied with this inedible mess, both you and your master are a most unhumorous joke. Oh, I see. Then, tell me exactly what you disliked about each dish you tried. Well, you want my thoughts? Think you owe me a sorry right about now. I'll apologize if my food's truly bad. With all my heart, too. But to say sorry without a reason would insult my master as well as myself. What's your reason? <laughs> 
If I say it's awful, it's awful, and that's the end of it. I question the taste of anyone who liked their meal tonight. Though it's unfortunate, I'll relay your words to my master, who happens to be His Majesty King Pharrell. <laughs> <laughs> King Pharaoh? Chef Zealot, the royal head chef if we're splitting hairs. I knew I knew him from somewhere. Lord Gajordo wasn't the only one complaining, was he? I believe a few of you referred to it oh. as pig slop. Oh. Explain in detail why you think so, please. To serve the king an inedible mess, as you so quaintly put it, would be a crime. Ha. No, don't oh. misunderstand. What's the misunderstanding? <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Zeliff, but due to a recent cold, I seem to have lost my sense of taste. You understand? Oddly enough, I have the same cold. <laughs> I also have a cold. Horrid luck. <laughs> uh, Will you excuse us, Lord Grand? Yes, please take care of your health, gentlemen. You are far too kind. Why, you will be going then. Oh, and happy birthday. Hey, come back, cowards. Well, why is a place like you and a chef like this? Has the king the faintest idea where you are? Well, of course he does. Though I came at Lady Elenora's request, not his majesty's. The second she said an old friend of mine was injured, I rushed here as quick as I could. You didn't leave until you heard the chef was assaulted. There shouldn't have been enough time for you to get here. Oh, oh. You knew Bots was injured from an assault without me having to say anything. Are you also in the know about the culprit, or perhaps- I heard about the attack from some rumors floating around the town. <clears throat> and while I'm clearing things up, your cuisine was incredibly delicious. I'll leave quite content and full. Didn't you accuse me of being a garbage man, huh? No, I was only joking, of course. <clears throat> I'm feeling a tad under the weather myself. Has to be a bug going around. I hope you'll forgive my rudeness. Sorry to put a damper on your special day. No one's in their right mind when they're ill, are they? Health's more important than parties, so please return home. I uh, appreciate your consideration. I'd also appreciate if you give my regards to the king, Mr. Zeller. What's going oh. on? They're all rats, so why? Hush this instant! Father, why? I'm actually like a Timothy Hey! <laughs> <laughs> We're so sorry. That interlude spoiled the fun. But with the sours come the sweets, like dessert. We'll bring it out early and you're in for a royal treat. Oh. It's the pudding we presented at the king's own birthday celebration this year. <laughs> I'm sure Gajordo will lay low for a while. <laughs> Thanks to one young lady's help, we are in your debt. Mr. Zeliff did all the work. I knew he was gonna cook, but I didn't think he'd roast the baddies while he was at it. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you disrespect my friends and food. Nonsense like that doesn't fly in my kitchen, no sir. I can't thank you enough, Zeliff. <laughs> now it's safe to say they're out of the woods. But for how long? Inconceivable! A devious vixen! Nella Laura for sure to say. The only one who could get Zeth as a last minute replacement is her. I shall have to play my cards carefully while he's here, though. The less the king knows, the better, but I've no clue what he knows. Come on, Dad, what are you so scared of? A royal chef is still just a chef at the end of the day, right? Don't lump him in with other chefs like some buffoon. Just one report from him could send the Solbard's public image crashing to the ground. Not if he was dead and buried. Let's get rid of him and stop his loose lips from sinking our ship. You disgust me! Every time you open your big mouth, I realize how stupid you are! Dad, Misuna, and even that oversized stuffed animal, they all treat me like an idiot! But I'm not about to let that slide! And turn! Roar! No! Hibernate until the spring. Honk shoo, honk shoo. Should I even ask what you're all doing? <gasps> Mother's here! Hello, Noah, dear. I trust this level of silliness means you ladies are faring well. Oh, yes, ma'am. Very well. I haven't seen you in a long time, Aunt Laura. Me either, so why'd you choose to come now? Though, I also see you're filthy. Oh, well, um, it isn't like she's been this dirty every day. Tina's right. We all just got bored of being stuck in the mansion, so we asked Yuna if we could exercise with her. <laughs> I'm not angry with you girls. I imagine you're aware of why the children aren't allowed to leave the Faringrum estate. Because the stupid salad bar family could do something stupid. But since Zelif's here, the chance of that happening is like zero now. The adults are being extra cautious, though. And I have a sneaking suspicion the stupid nobles are why you're here, too. Call it Bear's intuition. Partially. 
10% of it is work, then 10% Cliff, while the other 80% is to see Noah and Misa. For birthday fun, yay! You should up the percentage of Cliff. And work. Jokes aside, the royal family does feel at fault for Sheelan's city lord issue. So I've been sent to conduct a personal inspection in search of any corruption or foul play. We've seen the foul play, so put them in irons. I can't do anything without proof. Rules are rules. But that's why I'm hoping something turns up during my inspection of the town. Perhaps they'll commit a crime right in front of me. I know they're stupid nobles, but they aren't that stupid. <sighs> but that's a problem for the future, because tonight we have Nisa's 10th birthday to celebrate. Oh yeah, dude. I get to eat more good food and see all the kiddos dress up. It's a win-win. How very right you are. Seeing my cute daughter wearing cute dresses fills me to the... A lovely gown for the occasion as well. Miss Yuna will wear the same thing she always does. Aw, just for one night? Not happening. How about ten minutes? Hard pass. Come now. <gasps> no. <clears throat> Stay away. Please, don't do this, girls. Have you no compassion? And why do you even have a dress ready for me to begin with? Stop whining, Miss Yuna. It's time to get changed. Uh-huh. Prepare yourself to look fabulous. Mina, how can you betray me so? Did you forget how you left me behind at the Fushuda Says for my own dress fitting? your reluctance, Miss Yuna. Misa would be so delighted if you wore it. I'd be a lot less anxious about wearing a pretty gown if you were wearing one as well. Let's wait for Misa! Uh, oh. mm -hmm. I'll wear it. So you can stop with the guilt trips already! <laughs> However, I'll only comply on one condition. Uh-huh? <laughs> 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 Marvelous! Fina and my Noah are as cute as ever. But to see Yuna in such adorable attire feels like an honor somehow. Um, please stop staring. I didn't even recognize it was you. Because it's such a complete change. Both you and your father are terrible. I'll admit the dress is nice, but the bear outfit is charming as well. <laughs> I simply can't get over how beautiful you look. It's like you're a princess from the bear kingdom, Yuna. It's like whoever sees her in that dress gets put under a magic spell! Right? Tell them! It's true! We've been captivated by Yuna's beauty! You're all over-exaggerating. Please knock it off. At least we know for a fact you're a human now. You want a bear punch? The harmless jest. But, um, what's going on with your hands and feet? This was her condition for agreeing to wear the dress. She said she can't take them off. Yep, the shoes and gloves stay with no matter what. I'm just a weak teenage girl from a normal world without my bear equipment. Thanks, Misa. Really digging your fit, too. Now, without further ado, let the official festivities of Misana's birthday begin! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Misa, and, and many more. more! Thank you very much, everyone! Hope you like these, Mesa. Ah! What's uh, happening? Where'd these cuteness come from? Just look at them! Oh my gosh! Please give the fluffy babies to me! Sorry, but they're Mesa's birthday present. Not very cool to take the birthday girl's gifts. Ah! Oh, no fair. Why wasn't I born on this day as well? Why couldn't my parents have just waited a tiny bit longer to bring me into this world? Don't be illogical, sweetheart. I can't blame Noah for wanting them. Tons of people would love to have something as precious as their own. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, so I already ordered more. And I'll tote send one Princess Flora's way. Happy to hear that you're thinking ahead. If you could prepare a set for Shia and me too, that would be great. And me three! Uh, they aren't ready now, but I do have a set for you in the works, so take a breath and calm down. <sighs> well, if that's truly the case... <clears throat> I'm honestly happy for you. Thanks. <laughs> Not just you, everyone. Thank you so much for attending my party. This is my favorite birthday ever. Thank goodness. We were able to protect that sweet smile of hers. Well, this is rare. For once, the girls aren't following you around like freshly hatched chicks. Mm. They're having a meeting to decide the future of their organization since the top members are together. Or something. Organization? Guess make-believe gets more realistic at their age. 
But speaking of organizations, I trust you'll handle the evil one in Sheelan. Of course. Since I've got daylight to burn, I'm gonna go shopping in town. I hope you have a splendid time. I'm off to get some work done. Take care. This is my jam. Souvenir shopping. Stacks on stacks on stacks of local ingredients. Uh, oh, it's just a bear phone. Uh. Hey, Fina. You okay? Uh, hello? Yuna, help. What's wrong? Did something happen to you or the girls? Hurry. Track her down. <sighs> Let's go. Yuna! <clears throat> I trust you were discreet enough that none of those firing from peasants or their pets saw you. Yes, I was in disguise. That bodyguard they recently recruited wasn't around, which made my job easy. Regardless of the effort involved, I still expect every coin that was promised. <laughs> Certainly aren't shy about your greed. Why huh? do this? Oh, are Noah and Fina in another prison cell? Use your brain if you have one. See, the only soul a hostage should be worried about is their own, you stupid fool. I, I'm a hostage? Yeah, just like those brats there. Loudmouths who oppose us suddenly get a lot quieter when we threaten the lives of their children. It's extraordinary. You're awful. To treat the people of your district in this way. Do you get dumber by the second or what? The Salvards own the Eastern District of Sheelan, which means we own everything and everyone in it. They're ours to do with as we please. And now your crusty grandfather won't be able to resist our inevitable takeover with you as our captive. So just sit and tremble in this cell till then. <laughs> Please, let Fina and Noah be okay. I hate this. Are we ever going home? I miss Mama and Papa. <laughs> It'll be all right. Well, sure. Without a doubt, someone's on her way to rescue us. She's incredibly kind and very strong. You're such a stupid child! You kidnapped me in a foreign room? 
I told you to lay low until Zilla flew town! Then you directly defy me! No! <laughs> I imitated you! Geezer Grant is as soft as any peasant, so he'll be just as compliant if we have a hostage. Your idiocy astounds! Abducting commoners has nowhere near the same repercussions as abducting a noble! You're too much of a coward, Dad. Ramifications don't apply to the ones with the most power, and that would be us! I would dare say, not even the king can touch our family! I've excessively spoiled the boy. I feared he'd make a mistake that would take me down with him. And this may very well be it! <laughs> what was that? Who goes there? <laughs> Identify yourself. Where's Misa? As in Faringrum? This here's Lord Salbard's estate. If not you Lord don't Rain. know. <laughs> Get out of my way. Just so there's no mistake, you two are 100% positive this is the place? <gasps> Perfect. Let's let the lords know we're here. Your bulky bears dodging that, or you doing the same in such a ridiculous costume. But then your brain is just as impressive as your reflexes are. You deduce the Solvards were behind the assault rather quickly. Ah, unnecessary commentary, Brad! I don't see a point in hiding it. It's evident the lady has no time for your lies, since she already knows we have the kid. She just doesn't know where. But I'm not sure why she's smiling. Because I'm happy. The one who hurt my friends came straight here. There is silver platter underneath you. Brad! I paid you to be stealthy and untraceable when you captured me, Sinop! Get rid of this accessible woman and her bears and correct your blunder! Right away, my lord. I can admit when I make a mistake as well as fix it. You deflected and countered my magic. Just as I suspected, you are a very fascinating girl. You just stand there, you buffoons! Join the attack! No bears leave here alive! Brace yourself, my dear. You two take the small prize, okay? <laughs> your item bag is interesting as you are, and your attack patterns are as predictable as your dialogue! If you've no issue reading my moves, I'll simply increase my speed! When are you planning to go faster, Bradley? This is only the warm-up. My magic did nothing? What the blaze is this with this scrubby hat? Brad is an accomplished, albeit exiled, adventurer! He should be mounting her head on a wall, not dropping his jaw on the floor! <laughs> Something tells me you only fought people you knew you could crush until today. Yes, 
I do enjoy annihilating the weak and defenseless. Earlier, there were two little girls that were with my target, and I got to trounce them both. Never had you seen two children fight so desperately to protect their friend. Such reckless bravery. It was nothing short of a thrill to stomp their fiery hearts to blackened ashes. Shut up! If you like a good stomping, you'll love this. I'd love you to die! Again? Alright, I'll level up! Search, she's that fast? I'm Mesa's friend, and you laid your hands on her. That's why I'm here, not your stupid nobility war. It wasn't me! My son organized the whole thing! Uh-huh. Hey, bear uh -huh. Do as I say, or Mesa will... Uh -huh. Get your dirty, no-good meat hooks off of her. You, uh, wouldn't hurt a kid, right? <laughs> How your son behaves has nothing to do with you? Yes, exactly. You have no right to just barge into my home. No one crosses me and gets away with it. I'm shocked the apple didn't fall far from the tree. I'm sick of listening to you, so let me shut you up yourself. <laughs> no, Yuna, wait! common sense to knock the wind out of them without going for the first degree. Anyway, what brings you to this crummy abode? You are to seize every last one. Don't use force, unless they resist. <laughs> you and your bears rushed straight by me when you were all charging through the city in a panic. I didn't know why, but I had a hunch it was for something dire. So I hurried to the Faringram mansion and learned of the whole terrible tale. Now they're all our prisoners. Though I brought the royal guard, I didn't expect to use them like this. Or at least, not so soon. Misa, I'm so glad you're unharmed. Noah and Vina are safe as well. <sighs> oh, it's a miracle. Oh, Laura, what brings you here? Oh, just a couple odds and ends. Specifically an investigation of Sheelin by royal decree. I was asked to see if the rumors of your evil deeds were true. <laughs> then where's your evidence? Where's your proof? No one sets the rumors born from in me. The one you should seize is the brother who punched me in the face. You can't do this to me. I'm a noble. I've never been more embarrassed to call myself a noble woman. Oh, girl is pissed. I will shush. You're right in that we weren't able to find any definitive proof upon inspection, yes. That is, until we caught you red-handed kidnapping another noble's young daughter. No, that was my son's doing, and I shall cut all ties with him if I must. Consider the boy disowned as of now. Dad of the year. Randall is your son, and as his father, you are partially to blame for the actions he takes. I care! I wasn't the only one. There are other kidnapped children being held hostage here. When their families opposed the Solbarts, they were stolen away. <gasps> and you're certain? Mm -hmm. I pray there's an explanation. Ask my son. I'm sure he's the culprit. No, I can't stay quiet. Oh, is that right? Will you serve as a witness to the misdeeds of your son and cooperate with his capture then? Yes, of course. I'll gladly do so. Though it saddens me as a parent, the boy has to pay. Indeed. So we'll proceed without any discretion. Search away. Now that we have the Lord's full cooperation, I want every corner of every floor examined. <laughs> you have no need to inspect everything. So we can collect all the proof. A crime of this magnitude can't simply end at the culprit's arrest. <sighs> Though I suppose there's always a slim chance we'll accidentally stumble upon evidence of other offenses unrelated to your son during our search, isn't there? <laughs> you aren't allowed to joke like that, not in my house! <laughs> Thank you for assisting our efforts. I said stop joking around. Someone, save me! I'll kill that uh, man! Uh, I'm sorry you ladies had to be present for something so distasteful. Eh, no, it's fine. I've met enough nobles by now to know they're not all like that. For example, you, Ella Laura. That was badass! I'm glad you think so. 
Now then, let's find where he's keeping these other children and free them. Right. Do you need a helping paw? <laughs> you have a duty as the prince saving the princess to escort the young lady home. Thank you, my prince. I would have been in big trouble if not for you. And while we're on the topic, allow me to apologize again. You all were distressed due to my family's distress. No more sorries. You are the victim here, Misa. But I'm also a noble lady and the granddaughter of a city lord. Yet I wasn't able to do anything to help those poor kids on my own. Misa. <laughs> Sorry, I... I'm all right. I just have something in my eyes. <sighs> hey, it all worked out fine. Uh, yes, but at the moment I... <laughs> I'm sorry it happened to you, and I wish I'd gotten here sooner. amount of debt. I'm not confident we'll pay it off. But that certainly won't stop the Farngrims from trying since what you did for us was monumental. Yes, you've saved me on more than one occasion. You'll forever have our thanks and respect. And that goes double for our support. You need only ask, you know. Smiles are the only reasons I need to help. Any will be, in case you're wondering how everything wound up, let me fill you in. They found more proof than you can bang a gavel at, so the stupid city lord was imprisoned and sentenced to death, which is pretty poggers. His stupid son was stripped of his title and property, then exiled from Sheelan altogether. Thus, justice prevailed. And once the corrupt master of Sheelan's merchant guild was dismissed, the economy made a full recovery. Gran was finally able to retire at the ripe old age of 50, and Misa's father inherited his position as the sole city lord of Sheelan. A lot of stuff happened in between, too, but that's a story for another time. So believe me when I say, don't mention it, kid. <laughs> hmm? What's funny? We're laughing at something Mother told us before. She thinks you might be a goddess in disguise that brings happiness to the world. Uh, no, me? A goddess? You do bring good fortune, you know. But only to good people you interact with. While bad people meet their doom when they meet you. So, nobody else in the whole kingdom would have been capable of recruiting Mr. Sella for the party or saving Misa as quickly as you did. You're the devil of misfortune for twisted snakes like the Salbard family, but you're the goddess of happiness for benevolent folks such as ourselves. Please stop saying goddess. It's, uh, really embarrassing. If you're the goddess of anything, it has to be bears. <sighs> Always bears. Well, whatever. I pray that all of you stay well. <laughs> 